bullshit DM magic to get his character in with us, and then we're gonna. I. I actually, um, I'm a dunce. I didn't get the opportunity to actually speak with him personally about the uh, character because I just kept neglecting it because of things that were going on throughout the week. It's it's not that complicated, but. So, okay. Why are you on the planet? Uh, your description uh, on your character. <laughs> well, description um, on your character sheet. And I'll read it while you explain. Yeah, sure, sure. I, uh, I mean, do you want me to explain it? Or do you want me to write it down? Hey, it's up to you. I really do not care because the more information I have, the more I can uh, throw in for your character we want, to we interact with. I'll, I'll send you. A, I'll send you a message, and then you guys go ahead and do your thing. Throw me in whenever. I'm just gonna listen because it's my bad. I don't mind waiting. <laughs> yeah. If you wanna. If okay. You wanna be on a I need to finalize a detail real quick, anyhow. So I, I I forgot to do a little bit of research when I got home. So I need to yeah, do we a were, thing. Last we left, we were like landing on a planet, right? I know you guys were uh, to meet some fake god. Yeah, we were landing. We were you like, guys, on. you guys uh, took Sasha up on her request to go meet. She calls God, and you guys have popped out of hyperspace. She and we fly directly into a star, and we go meet God. <laughs> <laughs> and God strips us of our individuality, except for the Dark Siders. They go to chaos. And we've become one with the Force. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought we were landing. No, not we're... yet. You guys haven't started landing yet. That's why we were holding on to stuff. Yeah. Thought we, something like that happened. Yeah. No, uh, you guys wanted to wait because Phoenix came in late, didn't know what, what all was oh, happening, and... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just saying, like, we yeah, so stopped we can in just, the process of... Yeah, we can, we yeah. can just uh, say we landed and, and see what we do there and and try to get everyone together as soon as possible. Okay, let me... This... Oh. Uh, da, 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 uh, make sure I have this together. Okay. So you guys coming down from orbit? We're see her. I'm gonna kill some worm. Is in the guys. restroom. I said I'm gonna kill some worm guys for starting quest. <laughs> <sighs> so you on your way down from orbit. Those of you who are looking out of viewports and or any window, you would see this bright reddish orange landscape in this valley with a temple in the center. Those of you from the future, these kinda look familiar but aren't what you're nor used to seeing. What is why why? What's why are you looks like a TIE fighter. It, yeah, the first generation Imperial Starfighters. So it's just like older versions of things we've seen before. Yeah, like yeah, yeah you're used you're used to the newer stuff, not the antique. Gotcha. So I guess I'm gonna go like look at old chips. <laughs> so anyone so right anyone think this god's just some force user? Oh, it certainly is. I oh, fucking need to work and haven't done Katex's voice in Yeah, a week. like what the hell is that? <laughs> Yeah. I still think oh, I still think all of this is good. Said if you ask me. Mm -hmm. I, I think. What? Well, I was going to say, I think this god still, even if he is not all powerful as our friend here claims to be, I still think it'd be nice to meet him, mm. even if to say we met a god. Yeah. Well, I mean, he might not be a god. He might be powerful. Still. Because if that's the case, then I know a lot of gods.
So yes, I, we have to hope that he's not a dick. Kind of weird, right? It's like, hey, you want to see my god? And he's just bringing us to see his their god. Okay, guess maybe it's not weird. <laughs> I haven't been listening for the past 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me go with the, uh, the person, I guess. Alright. Yeah, Kitek's looking with. Are you on the ship going to look, or you want to get off the ship? And Wherever look? they are, I don't know. Did we land and they get off? We'll look around our own ship to. Yeah. If I heard nope, if I the uh, door open, then I'm gonna go wherever the door opened. And... <laughs> the door has yeah. not opened yet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. Look okay, for... we open it. It's our ship. We know how to. Oh, I'm gonna go look for the Mandalorian. He's in the cockpit. Hey, is uh, is your god a dick? I mean, those who are assholes to him and attack him and people he cares about, he can be a dick to them, but he's oh, usually nice. That's fine. That's a lot of people. Okay. Thinking sure. Don't walk away. Don't get attacks. What? Don't shoot anybody. I wasn't going to shoot anybody. Don't accidentally shoot anyone. All right. Safety. Uh, oh, I forgot safety. Uh, he, he, he just like takes, he just like t takes a piece of string, ties it around the the uh, the trigger guard, and and then ties it to the trigger so it can't go backwards. Yeah. Sin just sighs and shakes his head. The text. Would you like me to hold your gun? No. I already have my hands full already, so you don't need to worry about me shooting anybody. No. Look around. I see. Why are your hands full? Because I have one hand with my cane, and the other perhaps shaking hands with a god. Mm, okay. Eh, this guy not really god. God just title. So, would you still not like to meet someone extremely powerful? Powerful enough to be regarded as a god. I've met a lot of people like that. <laughs> my she'll, um, she'll look at um, Katex and Remy and say, Right, right, from the future. Yeah. Yeah. My problem is, from what my mom told me, most of the people that she met that were powerful are usually bad guys, and she has to kill them, because they try to kill her. So, we're just kind of like walking into this, so I hope he doesn't try to kill us. Yeah. Well, from what, if what the Mandalorian describes is true, then we won't have a chance to even put on our guns. Maybe. So by that logic, have guns out already? N no, no, then no. Not, not that good idea. Not good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we can go meet the so-called god. Maybe. I he's agree. Really cool, and he eh. gives us stuff. Uh, Special like god stuff. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold out for him simply giving away things. Maybe he has a bunch of crap you don't need. Perhaps. Only one way to go find out. Shall we? Yeah, sure. Yes. So. Also, this planet looked pretty ugly. So. But I, I, have another, I have another request of all of you here. What? Please do not insult this god, his followers, or anything while we are in his presence, including his planet. Okay. So Thank a lie. You. Lying's bad. You should know that. Lying is business. Hmm. Evidently, you're not fair to customer. Hmm. Oh, to be fair to the customer is to be bad for business. Well, unlike you, my business is simply looking good. Your business is, um, shooting down. Selling the best shit in the galaxy. Well, if you're if you lie to your customers, your customers might die. The worst thing that happens when I lie to my customer is, um, hmm, I suppose, um, a strand breaks. Yeah, put shit product. Maybe you shouldn't sell. Hmm. To you, maybe. <clears throat> Three, 
All right, no, nah, no. Nah. Listen, <laughs> like, 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 reaches reaches around around like uh like rummages through his bag, pulls out a pistol. You see this here? K Katex Arms LLC top top T1 model right here. This thing go th go through mud, hellfire, and snow. It survive everything and work just fine, even after being left in dumpster for 15 years rusting. If no wonder it looks like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the example model. And he, he, he just, like, shoots it at the ceiling. Works just fine. Works just... I can assure you I am not in question of the durability, but visually, oh, by the force, I think I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Do it. Oh, no. I see. Has, has figure of speech also been considered extinct in the future? I don't know. You always seem to be, you always seem to be at least somewhat literal. Or annoying. You know, hold on now. You know, th this is not the time for this. We have to go meet a god. Mm, true. Sure. Let's go meet the so-called god. Where is Mando? I think she's in the cockpit just staring. Perhaps we should go meet her. Yeah, I did. Let's go, I guess. Hey, ready to go. Yep, just docking the ship. Okay. So you guys ready? Yep. Of course. Never not ready. So fair warning. Uh-huh. Here he comes. There is some traitors in the in the throne right right now. What's that mean? Merchant People... or betrayer? Betrayer. Ah. And sabotaging. So depending on his mood, uh huh, might he might be a dick for the first five minutes uh -huh. speaking. Wouldn't we just wait into the ship until it's over? Eh. Oh, well, you guys can. Uh, here's the coordinates and the directions to the throne room. If you guys want to wait, I'm not mis I... missing out on this because I know who did it. Yeah, maybe I have a question. Watch. Yes. You say you say your god's so powerful, so, no, nobody stand chance ever, anything, blah, blah, blah. Why does anyone dare betray him, or, and how does anybody able to in the first place? Good text, what oh. did we say? What? I can't ask question? I can't. Well, can... he, he's very strong in the force, he was originally a full-blooded Sith, he believed in the Sith Code. Uh -huh. Ah, he's then a he... ghost. Oh god. That's well, that's what I say it is, right? It's, it's one of those it's, blood. Uh, it's one Kinda of weird, they don't that... have any blood in them, right? Yeah, they jump inside people's heads. You're not wrong in that part. They can do that. Uh -huh. Once they're dead, at least. Uh -huh. I've, never even, I've never even met a Sith yet. I was told my entire life to stay away. Yet here I go, ready to shake one's hand. What would the Jedi say? I don't know. I never. I my point anything. of my point of view, the Jedi from my time period were still a bunch of pussies. Damn. I hope they're I, not that way now. I can tell. They simply wish to sit around and sit around some more. Okay, so I've met all of like four Sith. So far, they're pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, yeah. A Sith, can, a Sith can fall in love and a Jedi can't. Mm -hmm. By the way, I would much rather stay on the ship until the, the nasty business is done. Because the last thing I want to go is meet an ornery god. What if we go, but not let him see us, and we just watch him from afar so we can see how he acts? Mm, depending on what this Mandalorian tells me, I believe he's powerful enough to sense us, perhaps. Or at the very least, me. Yeah. But... I mean, 
there's there's Jedi followers underneath his underneath his rule as well as long as as well as Sith. Still, so, I still feel we might take out a sore thumbs compared to them. Okay, he's right. We can just hang out. We can get food. Well, I'm gonna go see Terrence get his head cut off. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Barbaric. That's a dumb name. It seems they wish. It seems they also indulge in barbarity. I wonder if this planet has a restaurant. Mm. I wonder if this planet is in need of new fashion. I mean, I what? I wonder where they eat if they don't have restaurant. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Hmm, I wonder what the fashion sense of these people are. Are you thinking it's more? Um, oh wait, gothic doesn't exist. Um, what's this Star Wars equivalent of gothic? Dark side. I don't know. Sith. Yeah, I, don't uh, Sith. Sith. Uh, I wonder if they're interested in um space gothic. Yeah. Yeah, that like deserty space gothic. That sounds about right. Katex looks out the viewing port. Does he see anybody out there? Uh, actually, yeah. You would see a, sm a small group of Jawas out there. Okay. Are they Are they all wearing, like, Sith Gothic robes and shit? Like, black yeah, oh, and red? And... <laughs> yeah, black and red robes. Like, highly decorated robes. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they, they end that weird space goth. I could work with this. Then the, you also see this one Jawa who's wearing purple and blue instead of red and black. Mm -hmm. Oh, how I wish my fabrics didn't burn up in that crash. What you see out the window? <laughs> uh, you would see a couple Wookiees out there. Kind of in the process of getting a restaurant picture. <laughs> we, we see a restaurant in the distance. It says restaurant. Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't be here. Uh, it wouldn't be on the surface, at least in this spot. Okay. So Remy's like, maybe we should go ask around for a restaurant. We can go eat while we wait. Uh -huh. I agree to that. I'd like to see what this cuisine, what type of cuisine they have. Okay. So, should we take my car? Come then. You have a car? Oh, never mind. You're not that young. Of course. Uh -huh. What was that, Remy? And you found the one with the purple and black. So should we take my car? Yeah, hey, I don't see why not. We don't know exactly where things are here, so. We head to the Pimp Mobile. The Pimp Mobile. I'm sorry, did what did you, you what did you name this thing? Oh I didn't name it, my mom did. Ah, oh, okay. Put my token over the pit mobile. Just delete delete the token and bring it back on the map. If you want to do it. I'm uh, kind of there. uploading a picture. <laughs> Just delete your token and murder us and There we go. Oh god, there's two of them. <laughs> I've clo the I cloned myself! Text me, two, we... back in the closet. Back in. The... Yeah, Remy, Remy tries to get. Yeah, to sit with Nasha. She tries to. I like, get in the back. Don't insult my game. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? Remy tries to sit with you. Oh, okay. Wait, who's driving this? I don't know. I guess Remy is. I don't know. So, Katex, do you wish to switch seats? It seems that Why? Remy wants to sit. It seems that Ren wants me to sit with her. Ruby like looks at you like, come on, stop. <laughs> ah, ah, okay, okay, I understand. Yeah. Kex <laughs> climbs over. It's yeah. been a long time since I was in a car of this quality. Yeah, it's really nice. I got it for my birthdays. Mom gave it to me. I... I I hate to ask, but do you have a license? Yep. Is it 
oh, dated wait. correctly? Yeah. Uh, technically. Technically, yeah, it is. So I don't have to get a new license for like a lot of years. It doesn't expire until... <laughs> I was saying more like, when was it validated? Uh, in my time? Yes, you can see where that might be a problem. Yeah, but it doesn't expire for a while. It may not expire, but in the re on the record book, it doesn't exist. True. Hmm. Ah, don't worry, we can fix that. Yeah. Or perhaps we could have a licensed driver drive us. Everyone looks at each other like, eh. <laughs> you want I, I, I think you're the only one that can drive, then, right? Sen, I, oh, right, from the future. All right, I suppose I'll try to drive. I warn you, it's been. Are you sure? Now that I think about it, last time you yeah, saw me drive, it didn't mm, go quite I well. Can drive. I can Wait. drive really well. It's fine. Wait, I know she should be coming with us anyway. Kajak press some buttons on his, on his thing, and like B it comes up. Droid, no need license. <laughs> Nah, Droid don't need license because they uh, fucked up law. Think they not uh, sentient? I suppose that could work. Sure. But then, where are we going to? So that's how many people can this car sit? Six, I think. Yeah, oh, six okay. Seats. Then we have enough time, uh, enough seats. Okay. So yeah, Remy just scoots over and. Let's be a drive. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> and we head to the restaurant. Or at well, least actually, directions. We had, yeah, we head to whoever seems like they know what the hell they're talking about to give us directions. Oh, I hope they speak common down here. Well, there's about 152 different species on this planet. Let's see, what, yeah, what do I see? None of them everything speak here. common, and none of them speak common. <laughs> I mean, there was Jawas. I could speak I, common, I guess. Speak to them. I hope well, at least one of them speaks Hatties. Yeah. Remy's like, well, if they're Sith, I can speak Sith to them. You know, Sith, local. you know, I, I've, stopped, I've stopped acting surprised whenever you pull something like that out. I just kind of expect it now. Yeah, my mom, my mom is part Sith, pure blood. And part Rattaki, and my other mom's Maya Luka, and I'm a big mixture of lots of stuff. And my you know, mom, I... one of them was a slave, and she never got taught any other languages, barely taught the like, I guess, basic. And the other one only knew the same one as well, and then got taught Sith by her teacher, her master Sith person, whatever. Your family tree must be very interesting to look at. I guess. I think it just starts off with yeah, just them. Also, hold on, I just realized. This is out of character. That's not my token. What's up? What about your token? I got a new one. You have a new one? Yes, I sent it to Ragnar. Oh, Ragnar. Oh, well. He got lazy, I guess. Uh, oh, yep, I forgot. That's my fault. Yep, that's my fault. You can send it to me if yep. you want while he's doing stuff. You can set it up. Yep. All right. Uh, that was Spike. Just put it in. Just put it in for the restaurant. Just put it in the chat or something, and I'll, I'll grab it. Let's see. Do I still have? Yes, I do. Of course, I do. Oh dear, it seems that in the time between today and yesterday, I've gone pixely. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Kinda... Got the restaurant, got a name.
questions to figure out. What's going on? What are, what are, what's, what are we waiting on? I don't know. <laughs> I believe we're waiting on the I, restaurant. I said, uh, so who, who, yeah, I was like, who's asking the random citizens of this fine planet where the nearest restaurant is? Um, yeah. Whoever's facing the person. I suppose, what is it? I say, Remy, pull up alongside this person. I hope they might be able to talk to us. Mm -hmm. Or no, not Remy. Uh, yeah. Be, uh, Yes. See ya. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm back. You're tiny. Yeah, she would do as such. Uh, I will roll down the window and um, ask them. Excuse me. Oh, there's no. Oh, that's right. It's it's open uh, top. Yeah. It's open top. Yeah. I say, excuse me. Do you know where the nearest restaurant is? My friends and I are quite hungry. Uh, pens. What are what are your standards in food quality? Like the best. You want the most the expensive, pen. the cheapest, most expensive, uh, the best, most expensive. Yes. How many Michelin stars? All of them. <laughs> well, my opinion, it's a a five star restaurant. Not as the Brotherhood of Darkness. A couple of miles that way. He points okay. out towards the ed edge of the cliff. That sounds nice. Is it by the back where you guys got off the ship at? Uh, about how many miles is it from here? Up three to four. Oh, that's not far at all. Your speed are probably three. Well, there was one in orbit. There's one in orbit. Yeah, there's one in orbit as well. You guys probably passed it, to be honest. Uh, we probably weren't looking. We were a bit distracted. Um, how many Michelin stars does the orbit one have? It, it's just an average. Base. It's more like fast dine in and dine out restaurant. Ah, I understand. I think it's we'll just be going to the Twilight Bar. The Twilight Bar. I see. In that case, I think we'll be heading to this Brotherhood of Darkness, you said it was? That's what he said. Yes. Alright, we'll be heading there. Thank you! Bye. I guess we have... Alright, let's go. You were nice people. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Uh, Bia, to... did you get the location? Yes, Katek's already triangulated it on his local map. Ah, you see, like, Katek's back, back there with a little iPad thing in, like, a local map area. Yep, found it. Ah, yeah, perfect. let's go. <laughs> yeah, I guess we drive off there. We head to the restaurant. Now then, if this thing is as... If this place is as fancy as the person says it is... Perhaps it's best if we leave some of our larger weapons in the car. Uh, like? I don't know. Just in case anyone has any large weapons. And ooh, this place is popping. In uh, correct terms. <laughs> and raising his eyebrow, as you can clearly see, his cycler rifle and heavy pistol. You can probably hide the pistol. I don't have any weapons. I don't Even better. I had this thing real easy. 
he, he watches Katex basically like takes his uh <clears throat> takes his takes his shotgun it uh <clears throat> breaks it into two into two halves and just hides it under hides it under his coat. You hear like a a locking noise uh, afterwards. Uh, now she would just like lean her head back and just say, "You know, I'm not even going to ask. I just expect this now." Yeah. It's called my weapons integrated into my armor, <laughs> and I can hide it easily. Okay, so I guess we we go up and uh, the I guess we talk to whoever's in front to see if there's any tables. First, we should find some parking. Oh yeah, I do miss parking. You'd notice that, yeah. You just notice there just looks like a a, a a citywide district that looks like a parking lot, kind of. My oh my, they certainly accounted for that. Ruby, Ruby tries to quickly jump out the car, run on the other side, and open the door for you. Well, uh, thank you. As she'll uh, step out, using yeah. uh, using her cane to like push herself up. Yeah, takes like just to offer the hand and whatnot. Oh, she'll take I the hand then. She won't um, use the cane. Mm -hmm. She'll still take it with her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she'll, she'll say, "Ah, thank you, Sia. I must call you Sia. Come on now, Remy." Now then, where is this Brotherhood of Darkness? Point at the building. Oh, we're already there. Okay. Yeah, probably the one with the big sign that says Brotherhood of Darkness. Uh, I, I'm an older woman. You know my sight isn't as good as it used to be. No, I don't. That's how. Yes, that's how human. How old are you? I'm 36. I'm 38. My oh my. I see fine. Perhaps that's you. I'm 18. I don't see very well. well. I suppose that just proves that everyone's different. I need glasses to see far away. Now uh, then, shall we head inside? Sure. But yeah, also, I keep I'm projecting told... my offer to just make you better eyes. But yeah. yeah, I keep I keep getting told that I'm still super lucky because being a Maya Luca, like I'm not even supposed to have eyes. Well, your your Maya Luca. Would I know what a Maya Luca even is? Yes, you would be able to know. All right, so she'll say, "Wait, you're part Maya Luca." Uh huh. One of my moms didn't have any eyes. Yeah, that's your. She's not wrong. Then you are very lucky. Maya Luca don't have eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I know. And I can still see the Force too. That, that's why I'd say you're su I'm supremely lucky. I got the best of both worlds, just can't see far away. But now I got glasses, so now I can see far away, so now I'm good. Now then, let's go inside to see how well this place really is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hope we don't need a reservation. I hope so as well. I mean, perhaps I might be able to pull some strings. Mm -hmm. By the time you guys get closer, you would see... Uh, the front door tender, the waiter. Uh, he's he's ask he, he he's just looking at you guys. Uh, so how many's in your party today? Five. I believe one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Five. The we're bringing Bia with us, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Yes, that's why she's standing right next to me. Then yes, he five. looks down. He he looks he looks down. Oh, didn't see the Jawa there. That's my fault. Ah, oh, okay, oh, that's fair. He's on the other side of the podium. So there's going to be a small waiting period. Uh, mm -hmm. We're kind of booked for large tables. Mm -hmm. By the time he says that, you guys hear. Several blaster shots go off, and mm -hmm. a couple of Gamorians dragging out the bodies. My oh my, Remy! Perhaps this place isn't as I thought it was. 
Katax just looks back up to him after after those gunshots. So you have a clear table now. <laughs> yep, no, that's the party that's been refusing to pay their bill for the last eight hours. I mean, where I come from, usually that's just a prison sentence. I didn't know the punishment for that was death. Oh, this is a uh, neutral area. I'm the I'm the person that created this space out here. Uh, how far did you guys park out by by chance? Um, there was uh, a massive a complex. Parking? Mm, no. Not, not that far out. I mean, I don't want to walk a really far away. I think we Just... went to some large parking lot of types. Hello? Okay. Just, Just making sure you're not towards the edge of where the, everybody's parking. Mm, probably not. Is that bad? Uh, oh, if you park there, you might want to go move. You guys seem like you're willing to pay and continue to do business here. We have certain creatures here that like to pop up from the ground and make shuttles and cruisers, feeders, mm. sometimes people. Uh, we parked as close as we could have, so... She'll look All to right. Remy. Oh, sorry. She'll look to Remy and say, insurance? Uh, yeah, but I don't know if it works here. In the you know that's fair. No, that's fair. Mm, but I can just pay to have it fix if it breaks. But I assume we have to go like deal with those things that break my car. I agree. But first, we're here to die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Future is problem. How many seats was that new table just opened up for? And are the are the chairs still stained? No, uh He he just pokes his head and looks around the corner. Uh give it a minute and let the cleaning droid wipe off the wall. My oh my. Certainly an entrance to this place, isn't it? I mean, my number one rule, uh within new this neutral area. If you refuse to pay they're not willing to work and pay off your debts. One or two things are going to happen. If you fight back, you will be shot or you'll be put into a servitude that pays off what you owe me. Or you go fight in the fighting arena. Oh, you're the owner? Yeah. I'm here 24 right. 7. I'd like to meet you. You never go home. My ho he points right above you, and you guys would see this spacious, large, dark metal. Because I live right there. Ah. Right. Okay. By the way, very lovely to meet you. I do have a question, though. Do you have a menu we can look at while we're waiting? Uh, here. Let's see. Uh, real quick. Uh, whose droid is this? Mine. Uh, oh, I don't like to say she mine. Yeah. She friend, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Legally speaking, yeah. Okay. Well, friends, companion, servants, however you want to say it. Bodyguard, <laughs> right, Bia? Yes. yes. That is the original purpose. So what about it? Um, do you want them to have a hot oil bath and maintenance done on them while they're here? Oh, an oil bath would be lovely, though the, ma though the maintenance would not be necessary. Alrighty. He snaps his finger, and I don't know. Eh, you guys wouldn't have seen any HK models before. Uh, do look, that looks like bodyguard droids are kind of carrying towels and escorting Bio away. Uh, before we agree to all of it, how much would that service alone cost? Oh, droids are free maintenance. Ah, I understand. Quite the service you have here. It's fine, I'll pay for it all. My treat. Well, it, the price is kind of reasonable, it's just I don't understand why those people just didn't pay. Some people you you see the Gamorreans empty out their pockets. 
you see you see the peop the people that are dead outside and the Gamorreans emptying out their pockets and stuff, you notice that there's about several hundred credits for, on each person. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. I've met quite a few stubborn people in my time. Maybe eh, something happened. Morians. Maybe you should talk to the waiter or something. I I mean, I get paged nonstop when a customer doesn't pay. Hmm. I the time you guys show up, I came back out here and gave them the final warning. Oh, and they so refused. You, so you did talk to them. Okay, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> But anyways, this is the Brotherhood of Darkness. Depending on what quality you want of food you want, first level is those of family and friends and children. Second level is more lucrative luxury style foods. And third floor is private dealing locations. If you have private contracts and want closure and privacy while you eat. And the fifth floor is our fighting pits. I think we skipped a... F oh, my apologies. Wait, what's on the fourth floor? Uh, look at if... business. I see. Wait, what was the fourth floor? Lucrative business? It mostly lucrative, lucrative businesses, yeah. Tax, you would know this as... Shark Tank. A, shark yeah, tank. Shark Tank. <laughs> However, all of the people on the board are actually Karkadons. Karkad <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not against killing on Shark Tank. While he was, um, while he was talking, Remy would have walked outside to like talk to the goons about what happened with these people. Because that, that's weird, I guess, that they just didn't pay and rather get killed than pay. Yeah, that is really weird. Like they lose their money either way. Like what? <laughs> like you can take my money when you pry it from my cold dead hands, and that's exactly what they wanted. So what? What, what is the like, box on says? What happened? Uh, uh, that one person. He 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 just like he's pointing that one person, and then looks down. There's multiple people there. It's kind of witted. Oh, oh! What happens? Uh, we we had a complaint by one of our waitresses, and that they refused to pay, and they kept harassing her. Oh, harassing! I'm gonna give them a once over with like the force vision thing to see if they're being like affected by or were affected by anything force wise. Like maybe someone manipulated them to like go in here and not pay, so they they get killed. I mean, Does it work on the there's dead? a small it, there's a small trace of the force there, but they're not being manipulated. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess I should go talk to the waiter. It's weird. Super weird. Yeah, Remy walks back inside to catch up with everyone. Oh, Remy, where do you go? I went to go talk to the goons and see what happened to those people. Isn't this weird? What did they say? Yeah, yeah, what happened to them? Uh, that guy refused to pay and was, like, harassing the woman, the waiter. So I figured I should talk to the waiter. But... Yeah, Maybe. I wonder which one it is. Yeah. It's actually owner, like, what was, who was their waiter? He points around the side of the building. Uh, she's over there... Ha Smoking at the uh, moment. I guess I guess we'll have her as our waiter too, because we're gonna be in her area. Yeah, actually, you you're at her table. There's a yeah. waiter for each table. Yeah, each area table, sure. Okay, yeah, okay. Below, uh, waiter staff, 126 for 126 tables. Kitchen, about a thousand. Sure. We'll we'll talk to her when we get there. Anyway, this thing. Sorry. He looks around the corner again. Oh. Your wall's clean. You guys are free to go in there and take a seat. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you again. We go in. I'm following behind. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we get to the table. Rimby tries to pull out a chair. <laughs> Wait a minute, what level are we on? You're on floor one. Oh no. Family and friend floor. How oh, horrible. Is did he say what did he ever mention it a lot of character? Was did he mention it in like an up class place or something like that? Yeah, it's the next it's the floor uh, the next floor down. Oh. Uh I would ask him before we leave, like, can we go up there? Or down there? How much I mean, does that cost? It's not really that expensive. Let me call down real quick and see if there's any open rooms. It was like I'm trying to repress. I'm trying to impress this girl here. Come on. <laughs> Voice first. You want me to say a number? Make you feel better? Say a number. How much it's actually going to cost for the VIP sections? Oh, I guess if you want. Remy's confused, but yeah. She she looks at Remy. Well, he looks at Remy and uh, looking around. Uh. A 10k per person. That's fine. Uh, now she turns her head. Your family really was wealthy, aren't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Da -da. Nice. Oh, those menus I gave you. Do you mind handing those ones back? And uh -huh. he starts handing you uh, nice four menu. new menus. Yeah. Ooh. I was a bit concerned when the first thing I saw was chicken strips. And it was misspelled. <laughs> yes. A question. How do you guys enjoy hibachi? That sounds nice. That's, the... That's where the guy throws the food at you, right? What? No. No. They like, do cool stuff and chop up meats and cook it in front of you, right? Would you like hibachi or would you prefer something a bit more private, Remy? I don't know. What, uh, what do you want? I don't know. Let me see what's in here. And I'll read through the menu very briefly. Like Just like the first four things on the menu. Um, hold up. Uh, a Star Wars version of shrimp cargo, cargo, uh, lamb, and bantha veal. Fancy foods. Yeah. Any fancy food you want. I think I'll take um, the last one. Okay. Bantha veal, yes. Okay. Oh, I think I, I was supposed to be talking oh, no, to Remy. Those, those my knock nuggets on the other menu looked better. <laughs> if you want, well, you can have yeah. those Remy's like, brought if, down if, to your to yeah. the to your area. Remy's like, if you want, I mean, you guys can go down, like, go up there, and we can go down there, just like the two of us or something. Remy's like, I would yeah. prefer something a bit more high end. She says to the group. Yeah, 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 me too. Oh, you're wanting high ends. Yeah. That's why I wanted to go to the fancy place. Oh, well, the next floor is the second floor is the fancy place, but you're. Mm -hmm. uh... Lady friend wants more excitement and taste. Oh, no, she just said she Probably want to go to the third floor. But hold on. No, I think she said she wants the fan uh, fancy stuff. Yes. Me and my friend here are on the same boat. We enjoy the finer things in life. <laughs> and then cry when anything isn't, right? <laughs> exactly. So, um, he starts putting away Floor 3's menu. Terribly sorry. 
Oh, no, no. I just wasn't sure because I didn't expect you to, like, flesh of certain things like that. You kind of had me worried. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I was like, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> Do you think uh, we're cannibals? I mean, those who go on floor three are mostly Wookiees, Trandoshans, Lasats. Because it has fancy foods? It's more of an exotic taste. Oh. oh, do you like serving people Ewok? Yeah, but Ewok nuggets on the first floor. Oh. They're not exotic Ewok. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... One of my managers down on the third floor is also Ewok, so... I kind of gave him a full reign of the kitchen and the menu for that area. And he's a cannibal, so you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she'll look to Remy and say, maybe floor two isn't that bad. That's fine. As as much as I like the idea of um, sitting next to people who are eating human ears, I'd rather not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I probably would dampen the mood. I don't know anybody would want to do cannibalism. Had to do it once. Kind of gross. What? Hold on now. I mean... Katex just like looks up at the usher. What? You gotta do it. You gotta do the survive sometime. Never mind. As I said before. (laughs) Not surprised. The the little guy ain't wrong. Yeah, just... Yeah, just because... Yeah, just because you've never been in a hard situation in your life before doesn't mean I'm some weirdo because I had to leave. Yes, yes, that's very nice. Please don't eat me. I wouldn't. Why would I? I don't need to. Not yet. Well, let's hope we're not stranded on the desert in the dune sea away from our sand crawler. And And we're out of food and you're dead already. Oh, oh, it wasn't a lie. That changes quite a few things. Yeah. Why Why I kill to do that? They're already dead. But I'm not a murderer. <sighs> I guess it was more and more fair. At this point in time, good. that waitress who was around the corner is done smoking and heading back inside. Mm-hmm. Rumi's like, hey, hey, miss. Yeah. What, uh, what happened at the table? They tried to do like molest you in some they kind ca- of way. Yes, and mm-hmm. there were children at the table next to me, and I've asked them to stop all evening, and they refused to. And then they, cho- and then after that, they chose not to pay, and then they got shot. Well, manager and it came over and said you need to pay for your food and leave and they refused to leave so oh. the manager kept billing them every time they ordered and they're about 26,000 credits in the hole oh okay so it was a pride thing they just kept ordering hmm? instead of leaving just to like spite you guys and then they ordered too much hmm? And when they refuse to work in the kitchens to pay off the debt or in the fighting pits, mm-hmm. uh, he pulled a blaster on the owner. Owner walked away, and the Gamorrean guards came out, and oh, you guys heard what happened. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. It's usually a frequent thing with pirates and bounty hunters coming here. Mm-hmm. That's why they are not told about the Rest of the floors. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I guess. Sorry, happened to you. Good luck with the rest of your shift. <sighs> I mean, it's my day off from being a soldier, and I'm trying to make ends meet. Okay. That's weird. Soldier? Yeah, Remy, you would feel the force person. I feel the force from them. Yep. Uh, I'm like, so you're a force user and you're like wait tables on the side? Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm part of the core. Oh. Do you know about the god? You need the emperor? 
Is that the guy? The guy that's here? Are you talking about... Yeah, that's... Oh, the Emperor, sure. I guess that's him then. Hmm. We were supposed to go meet him, but... Were you talking with Sasha by chance? Uh, was I? That's the Mandalorian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They found us and they wanted us to meet their god for some reason. <sighs> you need to quit telling people that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she's, yeah, she just really likes him and wants to show off. Like, hey look, this is my god. He's cool. Well, you shouldn't believe my mother. Oh, that's your mom. That's a small world. Mm. Yeah, that's, <sighs> that's fair. I mean, my mom's really cool. I like the show, like, hey look, this is my mom. She's really cool. But, I don't want to call her a god. Maybe she would be a god to other people, though. Probably. What, has your mother brought the dead back to life? Yeah. There's a lot. Maybe my like, father and your mother would get along then. Oh, so is that your dad? Yeah. So your mom refers to her husband as God. I mean... Or her partner. She, yeah. And I was the stillborn and brought oh. me back to life. So are they together or does he just have sex with a lot of people? Uh, I have 32 different siblings. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. My mom could have went that path, apparently. She chose not to. I'm envious. <laughs> My mom only has two wives. <laughs> <sighs> not even his wives. He's got one wife. Oh. His name's Vet. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go because I don't want to keep you from your stuff. Eh. See if you want yeah. What to time go. is it, real quick? She um, looks down. Oh shit. Yeah. You. Watching out. Yeah. Shift's over. Bye. Okay, good luck. See you probably later when we meet your dad. Ruby <laughs> <sighs> walks away. She walks like, away. Yeah. He was like. <laughs> That's super weird. She's like, her dad's a god, and she has to wait tables. Well, at least we know this guy not god. <laughs> yeah. At least you have some money or something. I figure the gods will have money. You're <laughs> looking outside when she walked away. You would notice a bright golden speeder come by, pick her up, and she just leaves. Like, well, maybe she's not. Maybe she has money. She just wants to earn it herself. Oh well. At least there's no real weirdness happening here. So, what have we decided? Who wants to eat what and where? Or I guess where? I'd, I'd prefer the second floor. Okay, second floor it is. Not cannibal. Not cannibal. Go. Yes. What yeah, he, he, the the owner touches you. Hey, quiet down on the cannibal, eh? Is it uh, illegal here? As far as I can tell, you're advertising it. Um, maybe not on the family floor. Yeah, not on the family floor. She hits the okay. VIP section. That's when it becomes known. Yeah, it's probably like not talked about, and yeah, that makes sense. I suppose. So we head to the second floor. Yes. Up! Katex, you notice that up says master bedroom in the elevator? That must be his room. All right. It's weird he has it labeled. Yeah, you wouldn't expect to like tell people that normally. 
Eh. Eh, if you were to press the button, it's not working. What that he get there? Is that like a key thing? Maybe. Yeah, you see a keyhole right next to the button. <laughs> you guys see it... like Katex's uh, you know, little mechanical arm things, like hand, like uh, modify into like what what appears to be like lock picking tools, but then change back as as like Katex like yeah, you know like maybe. rubbing his chin and stuff, just like nah. nah. Yeah, I was like, we probably don't need to go up there. Man, this is house. Yeah. Just curious. Yeah. Are you trying to use a yeah. restaurant guy? Well, these ain't special. Maybe he has money because he's a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. By the way, we're not here to steal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't need to steal. Anything. Yeah, I wasn't going to steal, just going to look around. That's what I was thinking, but, you know, don't Still, need to steal. That's, that's trespassing. Uh huh. And uh, trespassing is illegal. Mm -hmm. They shoot people for not paying. I don't know what they're gonna do for trespassing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's why I. It's why I'm not doing it. Uh huh. Uh huh. I thought about it. Uh huh. See. So uh -huh. let's go to second floor now. Yep. Katex presses the second floor button. Yeah, Katex, you notice though, as as well, when you look at the keyhole, it looks like it's more like a computer key than anything. I mean, Katex's thing could break through that too, so break through that. Well, I know, I was just... Yeah, if it's a computer key, then his thing like would change to the slicer's kit, like, jack thing, and, you know, during that combo, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we get to the second floor and we get our table. I don't know. Is there another uh, maitre d' up here? Yeah, no, I don't really have. Yeah, yeah not, not, change, not yeah, really, but uh, things. yeah. So. I'm not gonna change. It's more of a theater of mind setting yeah, yeah, restaurant. That's fine. That's fine. We head to the quaint. Area. The time you guys get down, yeah. You, yeah, uh, once you hit the second floor, you would see a Gamorian in a tuxedo getting the way to your own secluded area VIP section. Mm -hmm. So, who ordered the veal? That would be me, thank you. You want to watch it be cooked in front of you, or brought to you from... A different location. I'd prefer to have it brought to me. I would not like to see it be cooked. Okay. <laughs> if you went and saw you probably would hey, you, you start you start seeing a young Bantha be taken down the hallway. That's what I thought. Yeah. Rubina's order is the same thing. And whenever we get to the table she pulls out uh Nasha's chair or whatever. Pushes her in. Ah, thank you. Uh, she uh the the Gamorian asks you as well about the veal. Do you want it cooked in front of you or brought to you? Uh, the same as she had. I don't think I need to see Bantha being killed. I don't think there's a point to it. Okay. And you, Mr. Uh, so we'll just have what they're at. Oh. Yoda. The three veals, same same way. What about you? He Kate the Gamorian Kate Kate Jawa. Chicken nuggets. Katex had ordered the Minoc nuggets. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Minoc nuggets. And which count would you want that in? Ten, 20. twenty, the forty, fifty, or a hundred? Twenty. Keep the sauce. Flowing. What would you like for a side? Mm. Side. Ten have... one of them. Ten. So, okay. 30 Monic Nuggets. Alrighty. Hey, do you have a, a... It doesn't exactly translate into basic. Szechuan sauce. Just... just, just uh, he, he basically... He just basically says the name of this, uh, like, obscure Jawaese sauce. Like, a... Made, just uh, it made out of <laughs> it's made out of uh, mud horn egg. It's, it's both sweet and sour. 
Suka. Hmm. Mud, mud horn, mud horn. For the intercom. Uh, do we have any mud horn eggs in fair, stock? Apparently, a job will run the here. kitchen, so. No, an Ewok does. Or an Ewok. Oh, that was a job. No. Oh. Ewok runs the third floor kitchen. Oh, okay. Never mind. The cannibal kitchen. <laughs> It's that was mostly meant for those who partake in multiple different flesh, <laughs> including their own. Cer certain, sh yeah. Okay, certain. Floor five. They just has chop part of you floor. off and feed it to you. <laughs> just... Floor five is the fighting pit. That's where half the food comes from. <laughs> floor three. <laughs> so. Uh. So those nuggets, you want them prepared to you? Why or would I want that? Brought to you. Brought. Bring me my nuggets. Mean, you want them brought? Okay. Yeah. So what if he's like? You taking so... the drink? Ah, uh, what was that called? Um, ah, uh, ah. Uh, He's like, water is fine for me. Yes, water. Uh, lava. Nice water. Okay. I have a glass and of lava. You... Your finest of waters. All right. And you over there. Open water. Like drink. Water, three waters, and okay. How many times are you guys planning to eat today? Uh, well, I was thinking just one. Yeah, just one. here for one. You gotta go meet a god. And really, like, do people eat usually more than once? Oh yes, uh, do you? And you see three huts just sitting there gorging, and then he shuts it. Mm. Okay. They've been here since last week. Oh my. Okay. Dang it! Yeah, we're not. No, nope, don't need to do that. So your total is going to be forty-five thousand credits. Okay. Here's your receipt, and you'll have your food shortly. I pay them and give them, yeah. Now she just uh, slowly turns her head to look around and just says, This place is not at all what I expected. It's, I'll say one thing's for sure, it's no Harmonia Garden. Not what? Harmonia Garden. It was a place I used to go to when I was in the Jedi Order. Or at least I should not have been going to, but that didn't stop me. Mm, was it a nice place? Oh, absolutely. It was hosted by this very charming woman named Dolly, Dolly Levi. And she was just the nicest woman you would ever find, truly. Unfortunately, she passed away. She was an old woman, after all. And after that, I couldn't bring myself to go back. It is what it is. Time, after all, is coming for all of us, no matter how much we try to run. Nah, I think I'm gonna live forever. Everyone thinks they live forever. I don't know. Probably it's could if I wanted to. I suppose, I mean, you still age. You're t I don't suppose you're the age you are when you appeared here, are you? I only appeared here not that long ago, like a few months ago. Ah, I'm. I was thinking more like, um, how old were you in this year? Oh wait, what? Like in this year? Yes. 
when when you were around during this time before you came to oh, the I, past. I, I, no, I wouldn't have been here. Yeah, I don't I'm think here, my mom like, would have what? been even born. That's what I was saying. You can only run for so long. Imm immortality is a fruitless prospect. I think my mom can live forever, but she chose not to. She is honestly one of the smarter and more humble women from what I understand. Mm -hmm. She understands that it's pointless to want to live forever. Mm -hmm. Even if you have that power, you will simply find that wow. things that entertained you no longer do so. Yeah. I think, I think it's because one of my moms doesn't want to live forever, so she doesn't want to live without her. I understand that. It's a noble goal. Mm -hmm. oh. Eh. I'm it is what it is. Whole living forever thing. I mean, sure, I could probably replace every single bit of flesh and bone in my body with, like, machine part and then put my brain in the jar, but, I mean, even that degrade eventually. I agree. Not, That's really, why I... not really worth the effort. And also because uh, Kitex like, pulls out a calculator. I did this, da da da, high risk lifestyle, enjoy that. I don't know. My estimate is I got about six years left before someone puts a hole in my head, so. That can happen at any moment. Yeah. That's why I decided. To live, to, to fear death is to fear the inevitable. It's like fearing taking a breath or blinking. Though death when, is something you can't prevent. I can prevent blinking and breathing. Yes, of course, but for how long? I mean, if I put enough effort in forever. Naturally. But I guess the what? death thing Using my own is... skills ain't natural? Without the assistance of machinery, using only your two hands, and I, su I suppose your lungs in this case. I guess if as long as you're careful, then you don't really have to fear death, but if you're not, then... Mm. Either way, like, I... this type of extravagance and... I'm not sure how how to put this. This um, whatever this is, it's all very new to me. This sudden influx and in knowledge of power beyond my comprehension. Oh. Oh, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's to be good and bad is subjective. Okay. If I say if you think about believe. me, then I get a lot more of that. Oh, well, like I said, I, I simply expect the unexpected when it comes to you and your friend. I guess that's a mixed bag as well. I mean, for all I know, I find out you have, I don't know, a friend in your head that talks to you, or, I don't know, um, a space shoots ice cream. Oh, a thing that shoots ice cream? No, that broke a long time ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. Immediately, uh, there's a faucet in the in the center of the table that rises up with a cup, and it's just pouring ice cream out. I expected that from Katex, but not from here. A, a, a surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Oh, so they have they have ice cream machine built in the table. Nice. I'd rather and not. And it says it on on the spigot. It says free ice cream. This is the second time my voice has activated something I didn't know existed. You should you should just like try to say random things in places and see what happens then. No, I, from the first surprise was honestly enough for one lifetime. Mm. Uh, she'll um she'll look at the ice cream faucet and just slowly shake her head and say, "I'd rather not. I don't think venison or veal and ice cream go together." Katex already has some, has a bunch of it. <laughs> already has a. Bunch. I dip my nuggets in the ice cream. 
I was about to say, is it like when you dip your, your fries in the Yes, um, that's precisely yeah, yeah. what it is, yes. <laughs> Besides, at my age, if I eat ice cream, it might go right through me. You don't want to know. Oh. Okay. Bring that a second spigot pops up and it's uh Well it's dairy free ice cream. <laughs> so should sigh again and say, Me and my big mouth. I was thinking more about, you know, the taste of ice cream uh, along with the taste of venison. Next big taste. I mean, have you tried that before? I I'd rather not. The idea of it simply disgusts but me. Why not try new thing? Because new thing might kill me. The so part of now. Are you yeah. allergic to those two things together? How do you know? How do I not know? Because you've never done it before. Then, therefore, I don't know that I'm not allergic to it. That is a bunch of jumbly word poop. And yet it, it is jumbly word poop that proves I'm right. No, it's self-justification that makes no sense. It, it makes sense to me, and therefore I think you're that's just all coward. I need. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I, you think I'm going to decline it? See, there you go. Be honest with self. Hear, no. Hearing... Hearing the word kill me and the word... Oh, who, God. The, the faucets disappear on the kill me, but the door opens in the back of your... in y'all's little room, and it leads us to your own personal restroom for the room. What? Suicide booth. <laughs> oh. Suicide booth? <laughs> Everybody's like, it's okay, it's okay if you're a coward. I'll protect you. No, no, that's the restroom. That's what Rizzy really tells when the coward part pops up. <laughs> uh, she just looks back and says, Oh, come on, how many things in this place is voice activated? Oh, it's fantastic. And why is it only reacting to my voice? Oh, maybe they like your voice. But I, I suppose that makes two people. Maybe you're just the one who bring things up and just luck. Just... You know, that that's not, that's honestly, I think that's the more believable part. By the way, I although I do enjoy the scenery, she'll um slowly take out her data pad and start and her stylus and start sketching the uh, general area. Be like same. I swear. She's kind of I swear. At you. <laughs> if atmosphere like releases neurotoxin in the air, I might destroy something. Oh no, I said neurotoxin, didn't I? Yeah, this time from your room, a another door opens up leading to a staircase that says floor three. You you've got to be joking me. No, the yeah. showers open up. It's like, no, you can't do that shit here. You gotta do that on floor three. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I want you know. I have a question. This is a serious question. I'm going to look up into the air. Well, now she's going to look up in the air and say, "Self destruct." You you see a camera start flashing red. <laughs> uh, cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> Abort. And then, same person who spoke with you guys outside it enters your room. Hello. Hello. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I I have a question. I'm fine. How Two. many verbal commands does this restaurant have? How many languages are there now? Oh no. I think I think she wants you to turn them off. I they... can't do that. Why not? These are sentient AI systems. Okay. Well, you know, uh, that... So if you turn them off, they like kill all of you, right? That makes sense it, that I think it, about it. It's more of a symbiotic thing with me. He Okay, it, well let's just do this. He he takes okay. off the face ma his his he removes his face. You kind of see blinds, and they and he shows you the fake face. I can't really see. Oh, so they run the security systems here. 
okay, well, how about this? Interesting. We just say, Cindy and AI disregard all further voice orders. From me, from my voice. Sure. Oh, so you don't want ice cream? No, but they can have it. They seem to enjoy it. And... How much does add to the cab? Oh, ice cream's free. It's on the house. You can ah. have as much as you want. Yeah, I don't really like sweets. Me neither. But, uh... Who was trying to kill themselves? It, I suppose... No, it was a figure of speech. Thank you. Okay. You actually see him shut the door on his wrist pad. To floor three. Oh, oh, I see. Does that mean... Oh, I get it. Yeah, if it saves me from having to buy bodies, so those who want to And three, two, one. You guys hear one of the huts choking next door. Mm. Go but how did that. you do that? I mean they've been here for a week nonstop eating. Can I try to use the force to pull whatever they're choking on out of their throat? Um, I have. Oh, I don't think I have force push pull anymore. Let me double check. Uh, no, unfortunately. Oh, if they die, they die. Yeah, well, no, they have they have security. Like out of character, they got a guy. <laughs> Let him go deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, and sorry for you guys seeing this. He yeah. slides your wall open. Uh. You want me to help you? Stay away. Let this go its course. Please go help them. I think he's asking. Hey, yeah, asking them. Yeah, they say uh, those who actually understand hoodies and or those who have vocoders. You hear the man, the other two huts. Leave us be. This is oh. this is great entertainment. <laughs> Even the guy choking, giving a thumbs up, like, nah, it's good. <laughs> no, no, he <laughs> I love he, it. He, he he's having trouble grasping his own throat at the moment. He's too fat. Yeah, you too know, fat. I, someone out here has to be the hero. I want to try and it will be disgusting. Well, I'm we, going to try and yeah. Wait, like, their wall is up, isn't it? Oh, the wall is sh still open. Oh, okay, I want uh, to try and uh, how would I do this? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, Remy's not. Remy doesn't have a vocoder on. Jesus. Sorry, yeah. Katex knows exactly what to do. <laughs> She'll, she'll say, Renny, come on, try, try and help this man. Get the thing out of his throat. I, uh, how? I don't know. Do I you have any him. abilities? Quickly. Don't worry, I got this! Ruby looks oh, really no. sad. Uh... Yeah, Ruby looks really sad. No, I don't got any abilities. Katex, with his uh, strength-enhancing exoskeleton, is going to punch the hut in the stomach in a rudimentary form of the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah, like, I can do that. <laughs> okay. Roll, roll it. To see how well it's gonna look. <laughs> I was told uh, not to punch anyone unless they try to kill me. Or roll attack me. or roll strength. Uh, either or is fine. Okay, I'm gonna roll attack then. Actually, now I'll roll strength so I can give myself a temporary boost to that. <clears throat> Smack. 16. You get it out of him. You get it out of him. 14 was the minimum, so you, you pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Katex like like boosts out of his chair with the jetpack, using the momentum of him falling with the strength exoskeleton, and just lands right, <laughs> lands a, a punch right in the guy's like windpipe. <laughs> just pops it out of him. Let me clap. Yay! I'll do the same. Impressive. Good job. I didn't want to punch him because he didn't try to hurt me. What? That's how you get thing at the choking person. You punch them, right? You yeah, maybe, but I was told not to punch anyone that's not trying to hurt me or take me or something. Your methods yeah. your methods may be unorthodox, but I cannot deny your results. Mm hmm Hey, you okay, big guy? Uh, wait one second. Uh so floor you need anything for floor uh three? Pick up? Uh, yeah, we kind of need more resources for Floor 3. Uh, you watch this man pull out uh, the heavy slug thrower and kill both the other huts that sat there and laughed. <laughs> kill both the other huts. Well, 
Now, I tried to do something heroic, and instead I got two people killed. Mm -hmm. uh, then he looks back. The HUD looks back over at you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I text. Yeah. That seems weird. Doesn't that seem weird? What do they do? You're welcome, big guy. Katex goes back over to his seat. <laughs> Why did they uh, get shot? Well, ooh, these, they're new here, aren't they? Yes, this is my. This is our first time here. First time okay. on the planet. As well. So, so these walls are soundproof. Uh huh. It's their shut. Uh huh. My nephews were planning on assassinating me. Oh okay. Oh, so that's I why assume... you're getting choked. Okay, gotcha. I ah. was choking on my food. Yes. Mm. Okay. And it's not the brightest bunch. A lot of people get hit, killed here, but it seems like there's always a good explanation. It, I mean, this is neutral area on this planet because nobody wants to live here. Mm. Mm. Except for him. He's crazy enough to live out here in the desert. Yes. Who is he? he? He points over to the owner. Ah, okay. Yeah, he lives on the, the, the roof or something, right? The top floor. Mm -hmm. so it's not a fancy place. Doesn't seem that bad. Either way, oh, it, well, um, it seems that at least you're alive. That that's a good thing, is it not? Well, yeah. And you guys saved me. Truly, it was simply the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good Samaritan, I think, is word to describe. Um, Space Samaritan, I don't think uh, from the Space Bible. Space Bible? What is Space Bible? Mm -hmm. Just because Samaritan, I think, is a, only exists in the Bible, isn't it? It's, a, it's the Bible story. I think, don't fact check me on that. I, I That's just like what I was told. It might be where the word originated, but that doesn't mean, like, yeah. <laughs> That's 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 the equivalent of that's the equivalent of saying that there must be Vikings in Star Wars because otherwise how is the uh, galactic basic like English you know exactly yeah from the space Vikings anything can be from ah, Star Wars you just put, you if you, anything can be from Star Wars if you just put space in front of it hardly but yeah he just looks at you okay moving on. Um, I think it's time for me to leave to get back to Hutta. Here, what's my bill? Hey, you just hear the half half price because he supplied them. Uh, subsistence for floor three. These huts were kind of large. Then, oh yeah, hey, uh, what your name? Mine, or the? Or are you talking to him? He points at the owner. Uh, Katex is looking at the hut. Okay, I wasn't expecting somebody to ask the name or save this hut, to be honest. <laughs> what? Gotta, 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 keep, gotta, keep, gotta make sure I know my business associates. <laughs> you weren't expecting us to do the good thing. Hmm. <laughs> Weren't expecting us to save people. Uh, da, da. uh. You know what? Fuck it. His name is Hut Huntington. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Do you Mr. Still have, Huntington. Do you still Huntington. have Hut Huntington's art, or do I want yes. to go get it for you? No, no I have it. He's a, I, I have he's the art. Uh, it's his great great grandpa. It's fine. It's a name they they pass down from generation to generation. A different guy. <laughs> oh, th this whole thing I feel like is inside jokes. Yeah, it's related to my game. There's a character called Hut Huntington there. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're like, oh, you meet a hut. Like, what's his name? Like, I don't know. And I'm like, Hut Huntington. I just gave him the name for them. And they're like, oh, okay, sure. 
Like, why are you asking Yeah, yeah, I was taking name? a sec to think of the name, and Spike just said Huntington. I was like, fuck it, that's his name. This is a funny moment, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, funny yeah. moment involving murder. I mean, I didn't kill him. But no, I ended no, up no. taking. It ended up, it, like, the Friday game, I ended up taking what he stole back to his sibling, and they were... He, they they were resolved the dispute of ownership. Yeah. <laughs> and when I found it. him, he was carrying a waifu pillow, and yep, yep. where they... He was they smoking weed, he had a yep. fedora, he had a fedora. He was an otaku, yeah. Okay. From what I'm hearing, um, the, the, the Huddington family has only degenerated through the years. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, so Remy's like, this place is kind of weird. Like, I guess it's nice, but you have a deal with people getting killed randomly. I do. Well, oh, some... well, it's kind of a policy not to kill anybody here. It's you give if you show respect, you'll get it from the the staff as well. But if you harass, steal, or try to threaten the staff, then prepare to get the same treatment back. Yeah, yeah I get it. But I'm just saying. It's just... We'll be here not very long and two people... Yeah. I mean... Eh, my brother's not going to be too happy about their kids. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Good to meet you, Haddington. I'd just like to keep track of people I meet. <clears throat> what are you... Problem. What are you doing, Sin? You're just, like, here. What, what are you... Are, are you, like, a Jedi or something? Or have a Jedi friend, or... Are you asking me in character or out of character? In, in character. In character. Like, here with this group? Or, like, here in this time period? No, like, I don't... I don't you're just, like, hanging out. Like, you haven't really said much. What do you, what do you, uh... I, I was trying to say something earlier, you guys just kind of kept talking, so I was like, you know, I'll, I'll just go whatever the group is going with. Max an in character, but yeah, sure. I mean, that that's why I haven't said anything. Hold Neither on, Remy's, me or Remy's Sin. asking Sin in character. Like, what do you, like... What's what's your like hopes for this? Like what what's going on? Like you haven't said much, but she also remember you talking about you had a Jedi friend. So she asked like, how do you feel about all this? Pretty much, it's definitely a new experience. I have to say, I wasn't exactly planning to leave the planet in the first place, but here I am, mm. surrounded by. Dark side users. That wasn't exactly in the plan. Yeah, do you have a problem with dark side users? I'm not dark side user. Nothing that's worth talking over the dinner table about. Mm, okay. Not exactly my preference in company, but here we are. Okay. Um, how do character? How do you pronounce your last name again? Uh, Brinko. Not not um. Sweet's character. Oh, Valla. Oh, uh, Valatha. Valatha. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, just making sure. I thought, I thought it was like different. Yeah. So she looked for me and like, "So what about you, Miss Valasha? Do you uh, you don't have a problem with dark side users, right? Because you you were like a Jedi or something." I was a Jedi, but like I said, the Force is a tool. It, it's the user is evil or not, and the user decides if the Force is evil or not. Mm. So, do you have a problem with evil dark side users? Oh yes, I care if they use it for evil. Okay. Like I said, I don't believe in the, I don't believe the dark side itself is innately evil. Okay, I'm about to go meet a Sith guy. He might not be so nice. But of course, that, there's a difference there. I, I'm not going to shoot him on sight, of course. That's stupidity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, sure. I don't want you to get in trouble. You seem smart. You need. You probably will. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm, mm 
I appreciate the offer, however. No problem. And what of you? I didn't mean to ask. Why did you come to the past? Uh, to figure out what's wrong with me. What's wrong with you? You seem to be perfectly fine. I can't use my force magic. Yeah, I suppose you, that could be interpreted as a problem, but from where I stand, I, I know many people who would kill, legitimately kill, to be in your position. Please don't listen to me, voice. Yeah, but I'm, I'm supposed to be the most powerful force user in the galaxy, and I have no force powers. Fate is a cruel mistress, and if you try to deviate from your fate, then things might not go to how you plan. From what I've understood, if try as you might to dictate fate, fate dictate only fate can dictate fate. Yeah, yeah, but I think I think that's why I'm here because I've been having like weird, like dreams ever since I was little, and. Something's been telling me to go somewhere, and I've been slowly piecing it together, trying to figure out what it meant. And it led me to this time at that place, and I'm still piecing it together once I'm here. Because it was like I was seeing things, things that I never knew about, that I shouldn't know about in my dreams. And it was like a planet that existed. And then when I checked on it, in my time, it didn't exist. Or an event that happened that was like around a certain time. And like putting all the pieces together led me to that time. So whatever it was, I can't... The answer to my problem isn't in my time. It would have to be here in this time. So I figured I had to go back in time. So you're saying you've been receiving prophetic visions in your dreams? Yes. Hmm. I've never heard of anything like this. Or would I have heard anything like this in the Jedi? No. Would not. All right, so she'll um, shake her head and just say, I've never heard of anything like that. Truly, you are special. Mm. So, yeah. I... I... I've been trying to figure it out, and this is what I figured out. So once I'm here, I figured, like, how I knew that planet existed. Like, I don't think I was supposed to, we were supposed to even know it existed. But apparently other people knew about it. So. What is this planet? Do you know its name? The planet we just came from. I don't remember what it was. Ah, uh, that one. The one I crashed on. Yeah. And we immediately left. Yeah. Like how you said about the whole like the fate and destiny thing, like I figured I figured I was supposed to be there to meet you, to meet all you guys, and then eventually to meet the Mandalorian and come here. I don't know. I don't know much, so I'm just I was letting it play out. Perhaps. Perhaps. Though I do appreciate that you decided not to sit around and waste your family's wealth. You see, I'm someone who believes in taking what they need. Not just having it given to you. Oh, That's yeah. why I believe My simply mom. for this meal, I will be owing you quite a bit. Oh, well, I mean, it was a present. I mean, you can count it as our first date. She gives like a big smile. Uh, I'd rather not. Oh, okay. Like, By the way, uh, sorry, you were saying something? Me? Oh, um, she was, uh, Said, yeah, my mom's kind of the same way. She um, she earned everything she got, and she she didn't want us to be uh, spoiled too much. She gave us everything we wanted. It was just, she made us, you know, value it. I guess. A woman who wanted to make you world weary. Yeah, I don't know. She 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 had a lot of money, and she wanted to make sure like we were taken care of, but didn't like do nothing with our lives you wanted to give you at least something skill so you won't squander her wealth when she passes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah she she trains us every day and yeah 
and I, I wanted to go on adventure like she did. So that's kind of why I did this. I must ask, did your mother gain all of her wealth in adventuring? You... kind of? Hmm. Yeah, what did she, was, she do? Before she was an adventurer, she was just, she just lived at home on the farm, and she left home and started adventuring, and then after time, she just made a bunch of money through adventuring from businesses. Hmm. Yeah. A woman, a woman of my interests, I see. Yeah, mom's super cool. Okay. Like I said before, one day I hope I will be able to meet this woman. Perhaps if I can go into the future with you. Oh yeah, that'll be cool. I'll take you with me if you want. If we ever mm -hmm. figure out how to get back there. You can return. Machine go boom. Plan scratch on fire. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I figure eventually. We'll figure, yeah, eventually. You'd have to do everything you did again. Mm -hmm. And I'll have to figure out how to do what I did again. And we have to replicate it. I have an idea, ah. Katex. Wow. Perhaps in time, I, as a Force user, perhaps I might be able to find some way to have you relive a memory. Wow. The Force, you see, works in very many mysterious ways. And I'm sure there's a power out there somewhere that I can allow you to relive a memory, a past memory. Perhaps one of you perfecting the formula that you use to create this machine. Yeah, time machine information hard retain. That's but right. But if you can, that cool. In time, I have no such powers as of now. Perhaps... That is why I came across your path. Mm -hmm. mm. Unlike Remy, I don't really believe destiny. I think you just end up where you end up. Not much rhyme reason to it. I see. Go where the solar wind take ya. And Mr. Brenko, I'd get to hear your story completely. Would you mind? <laughs> I guess since we're sharing, uh, um, what would you like me to start? There's quite a bit what, of history. Whatever you're comfortable with. But do you know where um, Brintal 4 is? I'm afraid I've never heard. The shitty little commerce hub in the core worlds. I grew up there. Um, for as long as I could remember, at least, uh, I was on the streets for the most part. Picked fights, did courier work that could be seen as illegal. Um, ended up accidentally picking a few fights with some uh, stormtroopers. You wouldn't know what those are, but they might. Uh, Am I to assume they're like, um, local police? Uh, think of, them, think of them like uh, Republic troops, except galactic-wide. Hmm. And why were you in conflict with them? Was it the they, smuggling, or, my apologies, courier work? Their patrol busted up a small operation of my benefactors. Um, I was a loudmouth brat at the time and decided to pick a fight. And they thought that they could beat the sense and out of a child, essentially, and put him in his place. That didn't necessarily work for that particular trooper. I beat the shit out of him, essentially. Um, and the only reason I wasn't gunned down because an Imperial officer came and found me, figured I was worth something, took me in, put me into an Imperial Academy to learn how to be a soldier. And I was a career soldier for a good amount of time, um, squad leader, before I joined with the Death Troopers. 
Who are these what death the, troopers? What, the, what is a death trooper? I from future, and I don't even know what that is. You're lucky to not know. I should tell you. Um, is it like dark trooper? What's a it's dark trooper? A dark trooper is not quite as much as a. Because I play a whole bunch with dark trooper. Yeah. I mess around with their stuff and build big machine. Not a dark trooper. Worse than a dark trooper. Death troopers are. You sure? A dark trooper like big scary mech suit thing and yeah, got like heavy armor. Yes. You sure? <laughs> Let's yes. let the man so, speak, the text, please. He doesn't have any armor, so he must not. Okay. Dark troopers are a special special classification of regular troopers. Um, we were trained on the planet of Scarif, um, put through rigorous training and physical conditioning, as well as genetic enhancing. Um essentially trained to be the ultimate soldiers that could kill both rebel scum and Jedi at the same time. Well, they, genetic well, enhancing? Well, what type of genetic enhancing, and how did they do it? Well, they... It's not much that I can really attest to. I know a lot of the methods were derivative of that of the Arcanian uh, blueprints, essentially. The Arcanium movements, I've heard oh, of those things. The Arcanians worked with the Empire. Oh, Arcanians, for... okay. Yes. Hmm. I've heard only that they have interest there before the... No, it didn't happen yet. Wait, are the clones a thing yet? Uh, I don't believe so. They are a thing, just no one knows about them. Oh. Yeah, okay. you guys don't know about it yet. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, well, so no, Obi-Wan like Obi hasn't found them yet. Yeah, or or like, doesn't, like, doesn't Obi-Wan find them and then they pop up or something? Yeah, disregard. Yeah, yeah. The disregard what, um, yeah, what she said. So, continue. The Arcanians were well known for their genetic manipulation, and the Empire saw that as a boon to their own forces, so they worked with them. Um... And that was part of our conditioning. And once we were trained, we were sent on classified missions to either collect kyber crystal shipments um, to help in the hunting of some Jedi, along with purge troopers and sometimes inquisitors. Um, we helped in major battles as well as many, many covert operations. You're like a super soldier. It sounds more pretentious if I say it that way. Well, saying it, it, it was that's what it's supposed to be, right? In essence, yes. You continuously say you're in serv service to the Imperials. Which Imperial house of who? And of what planet? The Galactic Imperials. Oh, the time where I come from, the... Empire. The entire galaxy is ruled by the Galactic Empire, who is headed by two Sith Lords. Hey, if, uh, you, you not... You like Empire, yes, no? No. Okay, uh, good news for you. They, they fall down, like, uh, eventually. Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you yeah. mean, they fall down eventually? The, the Death Star go boom. And they get fuck. What's a Death Star? Big thing, the, blow up planet. What do you mean the Death Star go? But someone destroyed the Death Star? Yeah. You can't tell me a bunch of backwater rebels were able to destroy a Sith Imperial super weapon. Uh huh. I... Uh huh. Some guy called called Fluke Piecocker. He did it. <laughs> yep. He blew, blew it up. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bren famous. Mr. Brenko, I'm in I'm currently inclined to believe what these people are saying. I'm as not they are doubting. from it's just I will just say that a lot of uh, a lot of resources and a lot of natural grown kyber crystals went into that machine and I'm surprised 
it was so easily blown up. Yeah, apparently there was like a hole or something. I don't know. It was something silly. But after Next, that, um, yeah. Wasn't now, show will we'll say. Part of my squad was was tasked with co uh, collecting some some uh, mechanic that was meant to work on the plans for the Death Star when it was first introduced. It's I, I forget his name. Yeah, that's what yeah. allowed my mom to actually I don't know go around and do things because there was no uh, I guess Death Star and other Sith. So, she was the strongest. Now Sha will uh, slowly lean back in her seat and say, That is the beauty of Empire, after all. It's a cycle. You will rise, you will decline, and then you will fall. And when you fall, you will take many with you. And in time, through these flames, through all this chaos, another will rise, they will fall, and it will continue. Yep, it's best to not care about it and make as much money as it, off of it as possible. Yeah, I think that, my mom friends, did. is called profiteering. Yeah, I think it's what my mom did. Like, she rose, and then she was like, you know what? I'm good. And then she kind of, like, just stepped out of the way with all the stuff she got. Instead of now so that, she didn't fall. Now that is certainly something uh, commendable. You see, from what I've been gathering and what I've observed around me, we live in a time of appetites. We are guided only by what we want, and all we want is more. I think we always seek theory. more. Exactly. It's what always. Are you a businesswoman, not a philanthropist? Oh, I know. I'm not saying I'm above this, not the slightest. We're all slaves to our appetites. Mm -hmm. I think this what yeah. my mom keeps telling me, like, like, because I want to do what she did. Like, all the adventuring and all that good stuff, and earn all that cool stuff, and get accomplishments. And she was like, yeah, and when you get older, you're going to realize it's not that big of a deal. And, then, like, you know. So, like, uh, yeah, like I said, she, I think she realized she had enough, and she was, like, she was happy where she is. And she kind of retired. And didn't become, like, ruler of the galaxy and all that good stuff. Many consider what do you that mean trait. Inquisitors don't retire. Oh, well, he did. Who's gonna tell her she can't? And Many he just has like this confused look on his face, as well as like a grimace whenever she talks about how uh, very highly of her Inquisitor mother. Like she, uh, she just did what she wanted. She was the strongest person in the galaxy. But probably still is, maybe, I don't know. And then she just did what she wanted, and then she helped the Empire stop bad rebels for doing stuff, like they blew up her temple, they tried to attack a planet, she saved the planet, you know, all kinds of stuff. And uh, then she was like, you know what, I'm done, and she retired. Many would call what your mother did as weakness, as someone who can stay in the limelight, but I know what it truly is. That requires more willpower than any ambitious meathead can muster. Yeah, I think because she was pregnant, like, my other mom was pregnant with me and my sister, and then, like, she was just like, yeah, I'm gonna just retire and live my life with my family. I have been... Never mind, this will not be discussed at the, at the dinner table, but I will speak to you later. For the time being, I will leave you with this. The galaxy is man unleashed. It is guided simply by the will of whoever has the power to enforce it. Mm -hmm. And it will remain this way. It has been this way since hmm, since there's been space flight. Yeah, I don't really know what happened after that. I mean, I... you're trying to sound insightful, I and mean, I think everyone knows that. Think... That's why. I'm, I'm not claiming to be any type of philosopher or anything. No, I'm simply pointing out the obvious. After my mom kind of gave up, she just retired. I don't know who took over. I think that guy that blew stuff up came back or something. I don't remember. Nah, 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 nah. No, I believe we... Actually... I believe we've completely sidetracked from what started all this. Mr. Brenko, I don't believe we've let you finish. Uh, well, um, 
as you know, I was a, I did some operations, um, but there was a specific operation that we had in the middle of one of the rebel-controlled uh, worlds. Had to get my team out of there, made sure they did, and I was stuck there for about a few days before I found a ship. Um, I tried to leave maneuver, but I was essentially shot out of the sky. Um, I was able to use the escape pod to launch over to another planet in that system. But uh, the damage to the ship had essentially sab sabotaged the escape pod and it nearly blew up and it left me paralyzed. Um, when it crash landed, um, I was in a coma for a little while before a Jedi found me and uh, healed me. Essentially, I'm still recovering from the whole ordeal, but uh, got rid of my paralysis and found out I could, I was force sensitive, and he was surprised how I went under the Inquisitor's radar for so long. But he taught me a few things under the uh, stipulation that I listened to him babble on about Jedi teachings or something or another. Oh, there's Inquisitors here. There's what now? There's Inquisitors here. Because in my, in my time, my mom's the only Inquisitor. What do you mean your mother's the only Inquisitor? Lord Vader is the leader of the Inquisitors, and they practically died with him. That guy dead. Yeah, he did. He's dead? Yeah. Yeah. Let me guess, this fluke Skycocker person killed him. Probably. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he, he blew up with the second Death Star. Yeah, yeah, they had two of them. Who is... First, I have many questions. Who is this fluke person, and who is this Darth Vader? Lord Vader, he's, uh, at least from the time I came from, he was the only one of two remaining Sith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And who was the other? Uh, Remember, you don't know who that one is. That right. Is I don't know who the other Sith Lord was. Yeah. But. So they both died, and then eventually my mom came up and was like, hey, I'm taking back the Sith, and I'm remaking it. And then all the people in charge of the galaxy, like the, 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 the warlords, I guess, they, they made her an Inquisitor, and then Thrawn made her an Inquisitor, and, and she just like worked for them to make the galaxy a better place. And really, all the please, bad you can't just throw names at me and just expect me to know who they are. Well, Who's people. Thrawn? Ad oh. Thrawn, Admiral Thrawn, he was a naval admiral uh, in the Imperial Army, or the Imperial Navy. I assume he had to be very powerful in order for him, for, in order for you to name him by name, Remy. Yeah, they were, um... They yeah, he's dead, too. Yeah, they all died, though. Yeah, see, because they didn't, they didn't stop. They just kept going until they died. He's dead, too? Yeah, that's yeah. Good. A lot of people died. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was good that my mom quit while she was ahead. Yeah, yeah, she meant to die too. I agree. This is quite a bit to take in, Miss Brenko. If you need a moment, we can simply pause. No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it makes sense. People die eventually, right? None of it matters anymore. I was just a career soldier at the end of the day. I. I can Do not care. Oh wait, actually, uh, sin question. You have any cyber parts? Cyber parts? Cyborg? Are you cyborg? Uh, I actually Cybernetic. don't. I mean, if you were a death trooper, you probably had some because they had cyber. Yeah, he, pro he probably he probably did, but yeah. I think for him they'd be what the fuck. I think for him they'd probably be like minor. Um. Well, I have a few that help with some basic function and... Alright, uh, are you 100% sure you're not Dark Trooper? Because there's type of Dark Trooper that is Cyborg. I'm not a Dark Trooper. 
All right. Maybe he's like next level Dark Trooper. He's a Dark Trooper Plus. But Death Trooper, right? No. No. Out, out of character. I'm just trying to play up the whole like. I remember Ragnar brought up the idea of like alternate timelines shit. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what I'm trying to do. Really All this there. talk of Dark Trooper, Death Trooper, so terrible to bring up at the dinner table. Why don't we bring up something happy? Mm, Dark Trooper, pretty fun to play with. How about something not morbid? Uh, I do like, this we can talk about I mean, you were the one five minutes ago talking about how the galaxy's a shit show because everyone's all greedy and slave to appetite stuff. I agree, that's why. I say maybe perhaps it's time that we all, me included, embrace oh, the happiness. What the fuck was that? What? What, what happened? Uh, I just got a loud spike and fucking noise in my ears just now. Like somebody that... somebody adjusted their mic and it just... Nope. Holy shit. Is that me? Nope. Not in here. Not in here. Yeah. Was it me? I've been muted for a minute, but... I, I, I don't know. I don't know who it was. It, it just... may have been your headphones. <laughs> the most likely scenario oh, is Ragnar's headphones are just like, you know what, fuck this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Rorman's like, well, what don't we talk about how nice my dress is? And she, like, shows off her dress. She changed into a nice dress to go out. <laughs> I agree, it is a very nice dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked nice. You have uh, mother's fashion sense. I do. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Another reason I must go meet a woman. Do uh, all your clothes like got blown up in your ship, right? We should get you more clothes. I managed to save what was on my back. Oh, By yeah. that I mean in my backpack. Oh. But it was my fabrics that were mostly destroyed. The things I used to make clothes. Oh, I can buy you some more. You make nice dresses. That would be lovely, but I think it's time I stood on my own two feet. This gift was nice enough. Okay. I mean, why don't I buy you the fabric so you can make me dresses? I suppose that would be a fine payment. Okay, deal. I like dresses. Eh, they look. They do look nice. I mean, Java robe, not too far off, actually. The text, if you're interested, perhaps I can make you some new Java robes. Oh, uh, you think I? Oh, uh, you think I don't already have a a, a whole bunch of different ones? Uh, but I know, actually, but... e. oh yeah, you fashion designer, right? Yes. Mm. Interesting proposition. Gucci robe. What is Gucci? Oh, future thing. The Fashion hmm. trend from future. Hmm. Perhaps I could stop that trend. Maybe you could. I mean, I, I, I don't think they're around yet. Do it before they do. Exactly. I've, I've been doing that the whole time I've been here. I got like 200 but patents pending. I can't what have you been patenting? Katex just like pulls out his data pad, just like goes down a list of a whole bunch of shit that may have like existed, you know, in like, you know, during the Empire's time and or that was invented during the Clone Wars, or just or in like post uh, Galactic Civil War era stuff. Just just tons and tons of random ass tech. <laughs> that is quite the list. I can see how far you're scrolling. Yeah, gotta exploit the opportunity. I know I'm doing that with the um, the symbol of this empire that Sen I mean, that Mr. Brenko seems to discuss. Yeah. Though, if empires still form, I mean that might be like kind of weird. I mean, perhaps, perhaps. No, we couldn't do that. That would have too far too many repercussions. Yeah, I don't care. It's like if, if you if you start putting like the swastika on your clothes, like yeah, this is gonna be my symbol for my clothes, and then it's like, uh oh. <laughs> no, I was thinking more like if we know what's going to happen, perhaps we could stop the bad things. Then I realized um, that would mean Remy's mother never comes to power, and then I never meet Remy, and then I never crash. I mean, I just crash land on that planet, and then I suppose I just die there. 
or you do try to do that and then you just don't and you just fail so that's why it never happens but yeah it is kind of conundrum but yeah so it remains like you, i don't know guys, either way it's like if you guys think that's bad i'm just glad i didn't bring back my other character oh. he, literally, he literally just straight up told the jedi order hey yo y'all gonna die the sith are gonna take over a sith lord By the way, so yes, now she just thinks. So I, we have this opportunity to change history and to shape it into whatever we want. Will we take it? Mimi's like, that's why I'm here. But it's more of, I don't care about like monetary value. But if you want, no, no, I was talking more large scale. But we cannot go too large. But what? What, like, what do you mean? I mean, anything that I want, I can just buy, but. but uh... I was saying more like tragedies. Do you know of any tragedies that occur in the future that can be stopped as of now? No. Katex is basically just like the Gus Spring flashback meme currently. <laughs> Not that I yeah. Know. Yeah. Mm, text. Yeah, yeah, well, there's a whole lot of fucking tragedy. <laughs> then why don't we try to stop them? What? Did, weren't you just talking about how there could be repercussions? Yes, of course. That's always an option. That could be caused, that could be said for anything. I them mean, simply being I'm here can have terrible about repercussions. Future. I mean, if I if we mess with time now, then time in future might change, and then well, what what happen if like uh, uh, Z, Z for example, she no longer exists, or course change and stuff, and then let me disappear from here. And that was my fear, and that's why I said perhaps we could stop the rise of this empire, and then it made me realize. I didn't I think about this before we came back here? Remy, we should not have came here. <laughs> and then I was saying, um, yes, if if we. Sen speaks about how terrible this was, and well, no, not Sen, or rather, from what I've Sen described, it sounds like something that is um not good to live through. And perhaps I believe that if we stopped it, we could have, you know, saved people. But as I realized, that would mean that Remy's mother would never come to prominence, rising up as an Inquisitor, and I can only assume this Inquisitor was hired by the Empire. Yes, I, I agree. There's far too many factors. Well, I do have to say, while the Inquisitorius and the Sith were certainly a bane to the galaxy's existence, the Empire itself surprisingly uh, made some progressive changes to the Core Worlds as well as taking a hold of some illegal trading in hot space. It's yeah. a bit strange to get into. They kind of do fuck up shit at Rim, though. From what I'm hearing, they try to centralize, further centralize the core worlds while letting a lighter grip, or at least um, attempt to get a grip on the Rim. Yeah, and brutal. It was kind of messed up. Oh, and that's why, that? like, that's why, like, Remy mother, Z, Z she, she is trying to make Empire a good thing. Yeah. So, um, honestly, I think she may have been a little too late. Sad. You oh, keep well. saying that she tried to make the Empire a good thing, and I'm a bit lost on how exactly so... that could have happened. She was going, from what I remember, she said her plan was to progress through the galaxy, become really famous, do a lot of heroic stuff for the Empire, show how awesome she is, and then eventually take it over and do things how she wants. And I'm guessing she did that by essentially killing rebels? Uh, yes. They did bad stuff. They... She was already mad at them at first because they blew up her temple, or her little Sith temple that she was taught everything in. They blew it all up and stole all her stuff. Temple. 
Was that? Probably because it was a Sith temple. Okay. She wasn't doing anything to anybody. She was just learning how to use her powers. Remy, not everything is so black and white. Perhaps your mother had, perhaps your mother, though she did good, I, a woman of that caliber, of that status, cannot have rose so highly through the ranks without doing some terrible things here and there. She just I, did things. I have a lot of doubt she even did that much good. She, she did a lot of good stuff. She saved a lot of people. She killed a lot of uh -huh. bad guys that did bad stuff. Bad. Do you even understand what a bad guy is supposed to be? They do bad things. Yeah. Sin is about to say something, and he kind of just like, wait, I'm talking to an 18-year-old. And he just kind of like shakes his head. Now Sha will say, Remy, please, I think you're at the age where you must know good and bad is what someone wants you to hear. Nothing is ever directly good or directly bad. Yeah. There is always a catch. Yeah, that's kind of what mom said. Like she kind of was in that like that middle spot where she was like, uh, "There's like bad and there's good, but some good people are too good to fix the bad stuff." So she said she's willing to do what is necessary to get rid of the bad stuff. I've heard this story far too many times. An idealist corrupted by their own ideas, but it must be done. I agree, but. At what cost? That that is all I must say. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of empire stuff going on, and there was like the empire versus the rebels, and yeah. And uh, just... another thing, Remy. There's another thing I must tell you. I I'm afraid it it simply cannot wait. I hear constantly about your mother, but I hear very little about you. It seems all you talk about is her. Is do do you believe perhaps that comes from the idea that you don't believe you're special? Oh no, I believe I'm special. I'm I'm the most special. I'm even more special than my mom. What is that but, even supposed to mean? You know what I mean. Something along the lines of you don't because of the idea that you were said to be the most powerful force user, but unable to use the force, and all you can talk about is your mother. Do you well, think I haven't I haven't done those anything. are related. My mom's done a lot of really cool stuff and I haven't done anything yet. Everyone believes they've done nothing yet. I mean, but I can tell you, you about the time I traveled through time and met you, but that's you already know that one. Yes, so, of course, that's what I was saying. That is something immediately very strange and very interesting. I mean, but I'm sorry, Mr. Brenko, I, I interrupted you. No, no, you're fine. I'm just trying to wrap my head. So you're trying to say that you're some sort of chosen one, but you can't use the Force. Uh-huh. Can you, can you read Force magic? You have, it's you have a the force. Very confusing story, I agree. I believe he said he was force sensitive. Yeah, but can, do you have the force power to, to read other force peoples? Uh, hold on. He might. Let me check. Yeah, it's what, it's I what can... Other characters over the Maya Lupus have, like, permanently. Yeah, the foresight. He doesn't have foresight, he only has sense force right now. I don't know, is that good enough? Is that does that give you I don't know. It it just senses like it just senses like the force in somebody, but it, I don't think it senses like it doesn't do what foresight does. Gotcha. It's like, it's like identify, right, or something like that. Uh yeah, it's basically like a like a souped up identify. Like, okay. It I think it works for both objects and creatures. But yeah, I haven't done anything. Like, I grew up, I was homeschooled, I was trained by my mom. She told me all her cool stories. We lived together in my nice apartment with all my families, my uncle, like, just everyone lived there. And we all, I met a lot of awesome people that had a lot of really cool stories. And I just never did anything yet. So I was like, I'm going to go do something. And that's when I was like, I asked Uncle Tex to make me a time machine, and he found out, and he didn't want me to go, and I said I was going to go alone, and he said he was going to tell my mom, 
And I told, I threatened him to go alone if he did that. So the deal was, he has to come with me. Yeah. And now I hear. Uh huh. To be you know, fair, you, trying you, to watch out for favorite niece. To be fair, you you'll be hard pressed to get me to subscribe to whatever this chosen one idea you have going on is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, as I was saying, um, Remy, I believe I know. I think I found the words to put it into what I was trying to say before. You don't believe you've done anything interesting because all you've heard are stories about the truly impressive and truly, how do I say, out of this world, I suppose, is the yeah. er- earliest way. And you simply oh, yeah. compare yourself constantly to these accomplishments. Am I correct? Yeah. But like, so, I, I want to earn the stuff that I got. So, I mean... I agree, but uh, there's such a high bar, and there is... I simply fear that you might be crushed under the weight of these expectations, and I do not want to see that for you. You must understand that you can stand on your own, and you don't need to constantly live in the shadow of your family or anything like that. You, In fact, I encourage you. I encourage you to... And I... There isn't really a nice way to put this. I encourage you to stop living in the shadow of your mother. Well, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm here. I left. I'm gonna go do that's, stuff. That's why, and you continue to compare what you've done to her, and talk about all she's done, but why don't we talk about what you've done, even what you consider to be mundane, perhaps I might consider to be completely and utterly, it might blow me away. Like, the most interesting thing I've done before meeting you lot is get a table at Harmonia Gardens, really. Perhaps to you, that might seem as some something mundane as getting a table at a fancy restaurant might be insignificant. But to me, that was a defining moment in my life. It was in that restaurant where I realized I needed to get out of the Jedi Order. It simply was too restrictive for me. I saw the beauty that can be seen outside of the temple. Yeah, I, I, think, I think what you're saying makes sense, but I think I got over that a while back. I think the reason why I didn't do anything super special or is because I just spent too much time worrying about uh, not having the stuff that I should have had that people told me I was supposed to have, like force powers and all that stuff. So I just trained all day trying to get it to work and never did. I'm really strong now because of it, but, you know, not... But at what cost? Special. Yeah. What What have you lost in time? You've never. Do you believe you've lived a good childhood, or do you believe you've lived a fulfilling childhood? Is rather the correct and is rather the correct way of putting it. Probably not. I was too busy working to try to make myself better. As I said, the weight of expectations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I decided enough of it. I'm gonna go do something, and I left. Well, that I'm proud of you. She's looking at you and smiles, and is like, she wants, she wants to like give you a hug. She's like, <laughs> yeah. Either way, I think we've been sappy for enough. Where's our food? Oh no, oh we already no, our food didn't even get here yet. By this time, all that veal has come to, come up, and for the the late for being late for Texas food, they bring a extra bottle their own drink they wanted in the house oh, with the, the nuggets. Here. Ooh, extra lava. Now then, are we going to and watch or shall we eat? I guess we should eat. Hmm? The and yeah, uh, eat. now shall we start eating? Remy eats her food. No, we forgot to do Grace again. He's like, what? Do what? what? Do Grace. What? Uh, I, I suppose it's a... Never mind.
Sin is very unceremoniously eating his food, like it was a a field ration. Mm-hmm. Like an MRE or some shit. Remy, like, overly properly eats her food. Like, she practiced very hard to eat her food really properly. Like, like almost like a noble would. Like, they, they're taught heavily. But it looks like recently taught. Like, in the last, like, maybe five years or so, right? Like, not something that she was grown up doing. Now, as she um, is eating, she just seems to freeze at one point as she looks around. Texas just eats food like a normal ass person. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my food like a normal ass person. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Remy looks up. It's like something on the wrong. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Well, make a perce- uh, make a make a perception check. If you really want to think, if you heard something. Oh no, this was uh, in her head. Oh. I didn't hear anything. Uh, with a sigh, she'll um, look up and say, I thought I heard Miss Levi. Oh, ghost? Maybe she's a force ghost. No, oh, I assure you, this woman... Uh, you'd be surprised if you met her. She was not force sensitive. I... I tried to see if she was. No, she was simply a larger-than-life woman. Hmm. Okay. Maybe... Nope, that won't work. Mm-mm. It's... it's fine, really. She just... I suppose just this environment reminded me a lot of Harmonia Gardens. So I guess we eat our food and then yeah. head to the palace. Yeah. yeah text, text, Do we text, run text, into a random Jedi yeah, along the way? Text, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably better. Well, af- afterwards, a Jedi walking into a Sith temple is not probably a great idea. Maybe. <laughs> well, you... didn't stop me. Maybe he was just eating at the restaurant. <laughs> Well, she, the Mandalorian did say they train both Jedi, and they house both Jedi and Sith in this temple. Yeah. I, for some reason, have a bit of a hard time believing it. Oh, trust me, I do too, but uh, I suppose I'm inclined to agree with her. You guys are always, you guys seem a lot weird about the Sith and stuff. Like I told you, my mom was a Sith, but she was a good Sith. She chose There's no such thing as a good Sith. Well, that's a lie, because my mom was. I don't know what makes a Sith good or bad, really. I never met a I, Jedi either, so... I mean, I was saying more about... because, As I said, I don't believe in the the idea of Sith versus Jedi. I believe in the idea of the user and how they truly feel. It just so happens that a lot of Sith tend to the more evil side of the compass. I don't really give a shit about ideas or ideals. As a soldier who was on the fucking ground, I've seen what the Sith and the Inquisitors do, and I don't fucking like it. Yeah, but that's your time. They're all dead. I've never seen a, a Sith in action. The last Sith, to my knowledge, was oh, thousands of years ago. But who was the last Sith that the Jedi knew of that they killed? Uh... You would know it'd be Darth Maul. Oh, that's right. I forgot he was there. Yep. Oh, yeah, so I forgot that. So, yeah, she'll no, 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 scratch off the thousands of years ago. So, she'll say the last, the last, we've killed the last Sith, I believe. Uh, Darth Maul was his name. Killed by Jedi. Was he a master? Yeah, yes. Quite by Master, by master Jin. Unfortunately, he lost his life in the battle. Okay, so All right. it seems like the Sith die and disappear, then pop back up every now and then. Hmm. 
Perhaps. From what you say, it seems like the Sith come back at some point. Mm -hmm. I guess they're different, depends on who they are. By the way, speaking of Sith, we must go meet this man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess we all leave and go to the temple to meet the man. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm finishing up one thing. I need to make sure I have their token correct. We storm the palace and kill the Sith because he's evil. Because he's a Sith. <laughs> and you all die right then and there. No, we're fine. Time for new characters. <laughs> we have plot armor. We're the main character. <laughs> Uh, Dex Walt is on in, gives him a business deal, and while they're talking, Remy comes up and punches him in the butthole, and he dies. Yep, right in the butthole. Yep, we that's his weak his, spot. Yeah, it's a weak spot, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> we found out he's wearing a metal diaper, though, and we have to... The whole encounter <laughs> is trying diaper. to get the diaper off. What? Well, this, this has gotten very strange very quickly. I, I, I like, I spaced out for like a minute and I come back to That's why you don't let our this. imaginations run wild. Yeah, yeah, we're making the fight interesting. See, yeah. you, talk, you, you might be like, well, that's a weird ass fight, but then you think back and you're like, well, the last fight I fought, we just hit the monster till it died. That would have been more interesting yeah. if it was try to wrestle the metal diaper off so you can punch him in the butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, mm. he's incontinent and he needs a metal diaper. Mm. Quotable. Okay, there we go, did that, now I can take you to the temple. Okay, you guys can place yourself somewhere right down here at the bottom. The line. <laughs> Doesn't matter the order. Yep. Sith I appreciate, oh, I appreciate the animated oh. token. Sith mommy? <laughs> All female Sith are Sith mommies, as far as I can tell. I didn't know you could do animated tokens. That's quite that's quite neat. Did yeah. you say all Sith and Sith mommies? Goddamn right. Yeah. All all the female ones, at least. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a moment in one of my groups that people weren't horny within it until one of the players saw a Sith token and went, "Oh, dummy mommy," yeah. and uh, no, sorry, big titty goth GF. That's what happened. Literally. Oh, literally. Oh, Domination is part of the Sith ways. So yeah. The entire the entire group became horny after that. There was no going back. Terrible. Terrible. I wish I could say that didn't happen, but that absolutely happened in one of the games I was in. Poor Natasha. Listen, as much of a serious role player I am and I'm, as much as I love Star Wars, nothing will make me bend quicker than a Sith mommy. Uh, someone quote Especially that. Someone get that down. You from a distance. They can... Someone, someone get that one down too. Uh, Sorry, you know it's in the recording. You it's know what? Uh, this isn't it. this isn't the kill. So we're just gonna let this play out. Uh, your character will be receiving this as pleasure. What? Wait, what? 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 Uh, hold on. Decline. Decline. Takes okay. Pleasure damage. Nope. Decline. Not being Decline. Nope, Katex is gay. <laughs> Kate Neither, um, what's her name? Nausha is aromantic and sexual. So, um, you, you, you can make the save if you want to. Save against uh, pleasure. Wait, what? Hold up, it, it didn't roll. Hold I don't up. know what's going on. I have no idea who's doing what to who or something. I don't know how, if, I, if it didn't roll the first time, you don't need to roll it again. <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I don't uh, either. I don't, right, know. Hey, hey, I don't know what's even going rolling, on. What is <laughs> whoever's, whoever's rolling the save? Are you within five feet of me? <laughs> Who's doing what to who? I don't know. Uh, hey, Jack, this, this hey, Jack. is a ball game now. <laughs> hey, Jack, please stop. Hey, Jack. I didn't agree to anything. Neither did I. Is Sin oh, getting going right hey, now? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it, it, it what do you just, mean? Oh well. It, it was just gonna be a choke. That was all. No, thank you. Uh, Katex uses time bomb and blows this whole fucking choke. place up because fuck that. <laughs> New characters. I, I agree. I, I don't care. If this was that the price, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, back on topic. Uh, so 
the four of you and Bia arrive into Temple. Remy, you start feeling that Sasha was not lying about the different force beings here in the Temple. Mm-hmm. Feel the variety of light side users and dark. Mm-hmm. Same with, uh, um, fuck, I can't pronounce your character's name. Nausha? 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 Yeah. You would feel this as well, along with, uh, Sen? On a scale to zero to future Z, how powerful is everyone? Um, uh, I feel like if three quarters the- of the way to future Z. Okay. So I guess while they're all just like shocked with the, with the power sensing, Katex is just walking in, like, <laughs> just like, Wait, eh, everyone. I'm very confused. Who's this future Z? It's Remy's mom. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to scale like how Remy should feel about people. Like, oh man, they're like they're stronger than my mom, or like, okay, well, I'm they're about strong. the same power level as your mom. Mm, I don't know. You're special. <laughs> Mom said you were special. That means you're going to be stronger than everybody. Uh huh. Sure. You know, I've, I'm ha- I'm glad for you for that. But how much do we have to subscribe to it? Exactly. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Subscribe Don't worry to- about it. It's yeah. okay. It's a would- summer child. Don't worry about it. I didn't hear what you were like described to, like the who. Tonight on Pornhub. What? Christ. <laughs> Someone's yeah, gonna. Yeah, I, I figured it was like some like a like a Patreon or something. I was like, who are you talking to though? Oh, okay. Ragnar, what did you say? <laughs> Hold on a second. No, no. What did you just say? Say that again. And I <laughs> said tonight on Pornhub. Yeah. Eddie Blair. <laughs> that works. Every time we say terrible, I keep thinking of lightsaber terrible from South Park. <laughs> lightsaber <What>? terrible. <laughs> no, anyways, I... anyways, back in, back in. So, you guys, those of you who can sense the force, are feeling this bombardment of multiple users. Everybody's like, there's a lot of force users here. But also, there's a big target above his head. It's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. So, like, as as I said, uh, I guess while well, they're all just, just like, damn, there's like a lot of forest people in here. Just, uh, Katex is walking right up in there. Uh, like between all of them, just being like, hey, Sith Emperor, all of you people. Now have I got a business offer for you. How could you deal with a business model that enrich both yourself, your customer, employees, and everyone? Easy to manage with, with a streamlined production line. I got a series of products that work perfectly just for you. How about we take, how about we make a deal and discuss this shit a little further, eh? <laughs> just going right for it, basically. Just going. I'm sorry, Re- Remy, do you know this person? They just kind of waltzed in with us. Uh, yeah. That's all for the text. Oh, uh, I, I'm glad you know him. I don't. Okay. Oh, who? He, he's doing yeah, yeah, like, I, only then Katex realizes, oh, am I interrupting something? Sorry, sorry. I, like, I had accuse myself. He's doing his business pitch thing. He does it a lot. And wait. Well, well silence. Speak. I'm intrigued. Hmm? Okay, What's okay. the proposition? All right. <clears throat> So, you're the big Sith Emperor, eh? Hmm. First of all, good to meet you. I am Katex, businessman from future. Uh. <clears throat> but alright, so. I don't know where this planet is, but I know the other one we just came from. Uh, Tasha over there. That's your name, right? Or was it Sasha? Name Sasha. Alright, thank you for confirming for me. That planet is loaded up with valuable mineral, large population, but there's barely any developed area, no barely any industry, starport, and it is unknown planet, unclaimed by a republic or by any corporation. You could be making 
boatload off of it. And, and I can show you how. We'd need to sit down for proper negotiations once I go collect a few documents and write things up. Uh, <clears throat> Um, and uh, and after all, he I'm puts sure... up his hand, he puts up his hand and stops you for a second. Yeah. Half half of my force is on that planet right now, excavating and mining and setting up proper outposts and defenses. Yeah, but there's not anything going anywhere. There's basically no space traffic. Exactly. If you're wanting to have a business that involves that planet and you running some business, I am perfectly fine with it, but you cannot abuse the resources on that planet. No, there's no such thing as abuse a resource, you just use a resource. Now, I have many a contact in outside corporate, uh, large corporation. You know Trade Federation, Commerce Guild. I know the Commerce Techno Guild. Union. Yeah. I know I can, the banking clans. I can hook you up. Uh, this trade federation, he pulls up a schematic, like a hologram schematic. Uh, is it this ship? And he points it out. Oh, let me. Ah. Yeah, I presume he's pulling up like a Luker Hulk. Yeah, the Luker Hulk. Ah, the, the Luker Hulk. That's a, that a big one. A big old ship. It's a real good ship. <clears throat> they use it for, you know, large transport of stuff. As you know, you'd expect from size. <clears throat> We've already got several in our custody. They've attacked uh, us in the outer rim. Yeah. Yeah. Also, question: Where are we? If I may ask, I don't know this planet. We just kind of just Corbin. Corbin. Oh, All right. Where is that in the reference to, you know, galactic north, galactic compass, like west of reference point, west of Dathomir. All right, I know that is. I know that is. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, he pulls up the map east of Dathomir. My bad. Okay, I got the idea where we are galactic-wise. Good, good. <clears throat> yeah. Now, other, other thing to throw at you. I know I maybe seem like throw a curveball, but I, I'm just trying to make a deal that sound good to sound good to both of us here. You understand that? You're clearly a. You're clearly a smart guy, being you. You're a big emperor. <clears throat> uh, so, Trade Federation, is it a problem for you? Oh, they keep su attacking my supply chains. Alright, alright. <clears throat> how, how you say? I, I help take care of Trade Federation with you. And we, and then that can be the start of further business negotiation. What do you think? Oh, give you. It's good to start small, little job. Give with a new partner. Yeah, I'll give you two years' time to make that improvement. While we reverse engineer their ship designs and make it better. Oh, so, so. I can give you a ton of that stuff, my friend. And I call it a see... sign. Call it sign-on bonus. That droid, it kind of looks familiar, like they're B1 models. Ah, Bia here, she way better than B1. She better than secret droid that they have in product right now. <laughs> yeah, called B2. In fact, Bia, show, show, him, show him your shiny. Bia like activates her lightsaber. She even got one of those, and I know you have a lot of those. If you want battle droid that real good, she support lightsaber. You see the two women next to him disappear after you mentioned secret droid in production. They're thrown to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're not onto you. They're just trying to defend no, no, theirs. No, they're, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> they're saying you're on to us, yeah. Sin just kind of, like, leans over to Nasha. What exactly are we doing here again, other than letting the small one pitch a fucking business idea? That was never the idea. I was following her, like, she said she wished to introduce us to him. By this point, Sasha would speak up, Oh, these, uh, sorry, sweetie, hi, hello. 
he ignores her. She was to, to, to everybody that know, has seen people in relationships or people that do one night yeah. stands. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, ignoring yeah. her. That's all yeah, she yeah, was yeah. to him. Yeah, Remy's like, Ooh. well, either way, hello, I'm Remy. <laughs> oh, no, Shivala. I start drawing up contract that we can work on. You may want to meet my friends here. This is my niece, Remy. No. Uh, these are other people. Hmm. Question, where are you guys from originally? Uh, All of you. Don't, don't be shy. I was born on... I almost said Korriban. I was born on Coruscant. Tatooine. What planet is yeah. Rimi? What, what is the... How it's called? Salukamai. Salukamai? Yeah, Salukamai, yeah. It's like Salukamai. And you, one that wears my Imperial insignia. And he kind of notices that he noticed, and he kind of like shifts his cloak over to hide it. Brent all full. Uh, over to the right of you, standing in the corner. This is a uh, Jedi Knight. Ooh. He, he's not from this time. Oh. Are you going to try to he's kill actually... people? Legend Rock, she kind of like stand out from the back. Look over the he, group. He is actually a couple of years before my kind came out of the shadows and retook Corbin from the Re Republic. But we also know that this time period we're also out of place from. I'm asking, are you from this time? Somewhere different. Mm, I'm ah, a... that what mean? Yeah, I'm from a different one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like Katex's mechanical arm will like, stand up around Remy's shoulder. Remy and I here from 48 years in future. I don't believe I'm from the future. I haven't had any experiences that I need to believe that, but I believe I'm from this time, whatever this time is. Wait, was it 48 years in future or 58 years in future? I don't know, sometimes. I lose count. I lose count. Either way, if enough people from the future come here, then that means... This then he looks reason. back at the person who's hiding the Imperial insignia. And you from when? The future. Question. No, it's hypothetical, and I get glimpses of the future, but... Does the Empire win? Kinda. The Galactic Empire, yes. Under the rule of two lone Sith Lords. Ugh. They blow up later. Uh, no. The fact that somebody followed that idiot's rule. What idiot? Darth Bane. I've never heard of any Darth Bane. Who? He's, he's the founder of the Rule of Two. The rule of two? It's where only two Sith Lords can be present at one time, or exist, essentially. Ah, and I suppose Darth Maul is the second Sith, then. Well, I'm not exactly sure. Whoever the second Sith was, I believe, was Lord Vader's master. Then the, and, like, her eyes start to widen. Oh, this? Oh, no. Look at that later. Anyways. Since we're all out of time, you should get to know this other person. And Jawa, what? I'd be expecting that contract soon, and I'll read over it. Ah, don't worry. i get that ready for your real soon, friend. Why should we know this guy? Who's he? <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice for you guys to discuss about your time periods and where you're actually from and what you guys have done. Okay. Yeah. Until then, I have to go and collect the head of a certain Morian that failed to do their job correctly and spilled some of my secrets. Okay. Ooh, they do, you have any, uh, do you have any cool apprentices that punch people? 
Um, ask one of these knights here, and I'll take you to the sparring room so you can find somebody. Okay. Naked cocaine guy from the future. What the yeah. Florida <laughs> man? Star Wars? <laughs> well, it was lovely to meet you too. And we'll go ahead and uh, approach the group. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Um, this is all very, very disorienting for me. Um, yeah. You're speaking to the choir. Apparently, it's everyone. Oh, trust me. me. So I'm not really the Sorian for me. Yeah, I'm it's assuming you didn't to choose to thing. come here. No, not by choice. Yeah. I was following yeah. someone, and then I got caught up in all of this. Yeah. Not here directly, but <laughs> yeah. So it seems like everyone that chose to do it is fine, and everyone that doesn't is oriented. Makes sense. Extremely. So, There's all these things about past, present, future. I'm frankly extremely confused. Do you mind explaining to me what's, I mean, to your knowledge, what's going on here? Because I, this galactic empire and things about the Sith coming from hiding, I, I'm unsure of what they speak of. Oh, where are you from? Where, are you from the past or the future? You said future, right? I assume the past, as he knows of events... Far past my knowledge. Well, okay. Allow, how about that? When, when were you born? Do you know your birth year? It was. Uh, g give Give me a moment. I have to do some. Uh, I have to do some fucking math uh, because <laughs> I don't know all the different calendars. Uh, oh yeah, there's like what four yeah, different. I, calendars? He's not going by BBY, obviously. So that's oh, yeah. why I for in my game that I'm running for simplicity's sake, it is all BBY. Uh, probably an easier question. Sin asks you, what in your time before you got here? Were the Jedi Order still organized and existing? Um, yes, we never really stopped existing. Mm. You're from I, the not past. to my knowledge. Yeah, you're from the past. Um, twenty-five thousand or so years after the. Formation of the Republic. That's, I believe, that is the furthest back calendar I can find, which is you dating are, the old the, the Republic. It's either that or the Great Sith War that I can use as a, most, as a point. You are most definitely from the, the you, yeah, Mandalorian Wars. That's where he's, he told me he's before the Mandalorian Wars. Uh, now she will just simply say, "Let me put it this way: You're older than all than all of us here combined." And she'll point uh, to the four that's... groups. Because yeah, technically, I'm negative. I don't know if that should be comforting or not. I'm just um, badly I, negative. I could catch up with current events, but for future events, you'll have to turn to someone else here. So, yeah. So are you... I'm not sure I want to know, Yeah. Honestly. Well, I guess we should ask this. Are you, back then, do the Jedi kill all the Sith they see and they're evil, or what are you... How do you feel? The Sith are proper Sith haven't been seen since the Great Hyperspace War. There was Exar Kun and his disciples, but I don't believe they were proper. The guy that was just on the chair seemed like a Sith. Were you you weren't gonna try to kill him, right? I am not prone to pull my lightsaber first. I prefer to be a bit more diplomatic, particularly in an environment such as this where I know very little about what's going on. Yeah, and ah, so someone with sense. Was surrounded by Sith at the same time. Yeah, Sith, but also those who are not of the Sith. Mm -hmm. It's complicated. Yeah. Oh, it's I was a former Jedi. Them. I understand the um, pretensions, or rather, the pretense you might have about the Sith. Yeah, just making sure you're not going to do the whole thing where, like, they're all evil and we got to kill them all. No, no, not. I. <laughs> The only instance of that I can properly think of is what the Jedi did after the Great Hyperspace War, which 
in and of itself was a bit barbaric, but not of my time. What do? It went to Korriban directly and tried to wipe the Sith species from existence. It was a very long uh, yeah, time ago. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. It's, it was a very long time ago, and after that, oh. we hadn't heard anything of them until Exar Kun. You're talking about the purebloods, the red guys. Yes, the guys yes. Um, yes, the one who is up there. He's. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one of his kind before. Not mm -hmm. really. I've only seen the one that was in my mom's head. Sorry? She had a very long story. One in her, it, a ghost. it sounds like it. Yeah, a ghost, a force ghost or something jumped in her head. To my knowledge, pure Sith blood hadn't existed since before the fall of the Great Republic. I've never even heard of a pure Sith blood. We well, just met one. He was on the chair. I mean, of course, before that. Oh, okay. I was that you know. No, no, it's fine. But yes, but before. Before yesterday, I'd never heard of a pure Sith blood, a galactic emperor, or anything of the sort. New world. Before today, I hadn't... I certainly hadn't heard of a galactic empire. The Sith Empire is... I believe there was one. But that was long enough ago that I frankly don't truly know. <laughs> I think the thing is weird, like, so many people are from different times here that this time might just be a its own little thing. That's what I've been thinking. So maybe, That's... maybe you're from a different time too, it's just the exact same time. That's what I was thinking. I was, that's why I, when I, when I spoke to, I'm sorry, what was his name? We we never even got his name, did we? Nope. When um, I was speaking, yeah, give me Texas a, is gonna be give calling me Emperor? him Sith Emperor. <laughs> yeah, Emperor. Yeah, Emperor. You guys were Sith told Emperor. his name. I think it was written down. Nope. Yeah, just, uh, you would know the name. It's, it's too late. Name. Sith. Kitax is calling him Sith Emperor. Okay, for the rest I, I, I of thought the it was. You can't I, stop I need to check. <laughs> Emperor yeah. Mudu. 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 So yeah, she will say. Uh, Dude. That's what he told me, anyhow. Yes, when I was speaking to Emperor Mudu on his throne, I said I believe I am from this time, but I'm unsure given I don't even know what this time even is anymore. Maybe it's like a pocket time. Yes, that has been my theory. Whatever so... it is, I... I haven't been able to get back in touch with the Jedi back on Dantooine from where I'm at. If also that's the case, then we don't have to worry about breaking stuff in the future because it's not probably going to be connected to this pocket. Yeah, uh, she'll okay. approach. That, oh, sorry. that she'll... calms my nerve. All right, I can know I can mess things up. She'll approach that and say, um, I'm afraid to tell you the Jedi are no longer hosted on Dantooine. What and happened? I'm even more afraid to die that I die. Sorry, go on. Just looking back and forth between them, like, uh, yeah. who? Who's yeah, that's why I uh, I'll let her. Uh, oh no, Sin was like, kind of, kind of like mumbling. That is like, and I'm more afraid to tell you that the Jedi die inevitably, yeah, anyways. I mean, in the future, technically, all you guys are dead because you're all from the. Past. I'm sorry, the what? Let's not inspire fear in him just yet. But yes, as I was saying. To my knowledge, the largest congregation of Jedi currently exists on Coruscant at, at the Jedi Temple. That's simply what it is called there now. There is a temple on Coruscant. It's just there. I'm from the. I was trained in the, uh, the Dantooine Enclave. Perhaps there's one there, but I, I haven't heard of it. I was trained at the, at the uh, Grand Temple, I suppose we'll call it. You know what do you call it on Coruscant? I believe that it might actually. You know, yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure it's just the Jedi Temple, and then there's there's enclaves. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. so I was trained at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Interesting. And, uh, wait, did I ever hear about one on Dantooine? Oh yeah, you, uh, 
you would know the records of everything about Dantooine and the temples that were scattered from the other enclaves that were destroyed in records and certain planets and those that survived. Uh, sorry, the records are destroyed, or the um... oh no 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 the ones that are destroyed on records you would know that Dantooine is one of several that were destroyed. Oh, okay, so I'll tentatively tell him, I'm I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you this. The records that we have at the temple imply that most of the temples on Dantooine have been destroyed. Do you know when that might have happened by chance? Uh, off the top of my head, I'm afraid I don't know. Unfortunate, but... I mean, I... From what I can tell... Your voodoo laugh at this point. Thousands of years before the rest of you, so it's... Things change over time. She'll slowly nod, or trust me, I think I've had that similar feeling after meeting these two, and yeah. she'll point to... Or rather, these three. She'll also point to Adams, and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Remy's like, you know, eventually I guess everyone fell. The Jedi fell, the Sith fell, everyone fell. Yeah, people fall down a lot. People came that down. is the march of time, after all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything fall. But we've had this conversation already. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so, yes, is there any other questions you have that we might be able to answer? Well, unless you... Happened upon the person I'm searching for, I'm afraid. There might not be any. I've been asking around here and I've gotten nothing as of yet. I, I, I kind of assume that I haven't been, the Emperor just hasn't told me anything. Is that a fair uh, assumption he, to make? Yeah, he hasn't said anything yet. This entire time I've just realized I've been talking to the wrong person. Uh... Okay. What is your group, um, doing, if I might ask. Uh, coming here, that is. Uh, I pointed out to I wanted to meet the god. Yeah, she offered to show us a god, so I was like, okay. I quite literally had nowhere else to go. Oh, that's Just scary. A little bit. A, a god? Yeah. Yes. Look, I look at the like... emperor. Just sort of give a little bit of a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look back that's at the what group. I figured. It was, it was what I figured it was. It's a force user. Eh. Yes, uh, the your the fine lady over there told us that there was a god here, a, a god who walked among us. I think she's in love. Powerful force users can be indistinguishable from gods, depending on mm -hmm. what you refer to. Oh, Would I you... agree. I, there weren't any in particular of my time I could recall, but I'm sure that. Many of those who fell under his blade would have thought Exar Kun a god, or perhaps the master of one of our enclaves. Mm -hmm. There's only oh. one real god, the almighty Tala. What? Only gods of money and riches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, credit, 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 credit. Moodoo, Moodoo would say, you're correct on that. Money is everything. You would hear the Emperor's voice come over you. Money is everything. See, I tell you this, smart man. But, uh... Well, if you guys are going to do things for me as a partial alliance business contract, I should probably bring in my partner in the just ascendancy. The what now? Your partner. For the ex excuse me, for your partner. What is a chist sentence? Well, well, it's strange. He, he, I actually found him through the force. He was easier to work with than the last retainer I had, and then he finally uploads a new fleet is under his command for the time being. Sen, you would know this fleet. Oh, is, it, is Admiral Thrawn's fleet? Seventh fleet. Sen just almost feels his 
his entire all the air in his body just exhales and like, oh no, no. Mr. Brenko, are you alright? Yeah, right, man. Do do you mind if I just and he kinda of like just kinda of shuffles to step behind uh Nausha? Not at all, go ahead. Just I'm I'm tall, you can probably hide behind me. Remy wouldn't know anything about this, right? Uh, I, I asked Murderous it what sigil they used for their campaign, and I don't know Wait, what? which one was used, either the mall or this one. Wait, what? What did you ask me? When I did it in uh, the text right here. At... It will be right back I whispered to, to you in roll 20. What symbol did I use for Thrawn? Just the normal shit for the Chiss Ascendancy and Imperials yeah. and stuff? The mall or the Seventh Fleet. Never mind. I know. I just wasn't sure if you were using the seventh. I don't, I don't think I did anything specifically for that. When you guys met Thrawn, okay. he was just on the Chimera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As an aside, this entire time I thought we were talking to this guy. Nope, you're talking to this guy. Yes, that is, um, that is a knight, yeah. and I recommend you not pulling a gun or anything on this knight. <laughs> I shoot oh, him no. in the face immediately after you say that. Yeah. And no one wants to bring out a gun on anyone. I hope not. Remy was told to ask the knight to the sparring room to go beat up one of his acolytes. <laughs> Put you in front of a child. Let's beat up a kid. Let's push him down and walk away. Like, I win. <laughs> Break the wrist, walk away. The room is like, but so... anyways, back to Sen hiding behind Nausha. Yeah. Why are you... <laughs> One day someone will get my name right. Yeah, he doesn't want to see Admiral Thrawn, and he doesn't want Admiral Thrawn to see him. Okay, did you do something to him? I am back. No, I worked under him directly. Uh huh. Did you do something? Oh, what? I did plenty until I defected. Yeah, but did you like stab him or steal his stuff? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, my mom worked for him too. Maybe a different time. Maybe he's not as bad in my time. Or wasn't. I guess he's dead. He was pretty terrible in my time. Yeah, I know. He just helped my mom. We helped my mom and him helped each other, and then she just left. I'm not confident in your description of what's bad or not. Um. Well, there was a guy that was doing bad stuff in the Chiss Ascendancy, and he was using their resources for personal stuff. He had like a drug dealer, or he was like a drug dealer and a mercenary. I don't know. He did all kinds of bad stuff. And, well, that's common stuff where I come from. Yeah, so my mom didn't know how to make uh, the red lightsabers because all that stuff was stolen by the rebels and taken away, so she never got to learn how to do that. So she had to figure it out, and she got help from Thrawn, and in exchange, she helped um, get rid of that bad guy. The only thing I know about Mr. Thrawn is that he's a Grand Admiral. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, they kind of ruled stuff at that time, where I was from, or my mom was from. That reminds me, what is a chiss? Uh, blue people. Blue people. What Thrawn is. Yeah, they, they blue, they got red eyes, and they always seem to be smart. Oh, it's a species, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They come from the unknown region. Yeah, no, no wonder they haven't seen one yet. Mm. Okay, well, I guess. Uh, did but did you do something to Thrawn, like to, to, that he would know who you are? Would Thrawn know who he is specifically? Well, you're one of twenty-four. Uh, death troopers that were under him. Yeah, he would know me specifically. Now she will lean over and whisper, "Does he know your face?" Yes. Put something on. I your am face. Like, 
this is past. This is we don't know when this thrown from. So uh -huh. how you know? Maybe he was like you know. really past thrown, and you're and you're from his future, so he hasn't met you yet. Would you really be willing to take that chance? Let's put a mask on. I am not willing to take that chance. If I, I, I was about to say, yes, I have an idea if you wish to appear. What I could do is take out one of my outfits and um, you can get dressed in it. Although I'm unsure if it fits you and if you'd be comfortable wear... Uh, my, what I wear isn't exactly feminine. I could lend you some face wraps. He looks feminine enough. Or would you prefer to continuously stand behind me? You got a helmet? <laughs> well, why don't we just walk away? I don't think we need to stand here um, anymore. I mean, I was told that I can ask the guard to take us to the uh, training area. Yes, that reminds Why are we meeting Mr. Thrawn again? I don't know. Hey, you just hear Moody laughing. <laughs> Who's a Moody? Moody. Voodoo, okay. Voodoo. Voodoo. <laughs> I, keep, I keep thinking that like the, the guard next to us is like fucking with us. Like he's just standing there. Yeah, he's laughing too at Sen for dipping and hiding. Hmm. I swear, what, what if one of them like grab you and throw you out from behind me? I'm just like, either way, why are we still standing here? We met him, I think we had our negotiations, I think we can go now. I'm certainly okay to leave. As am I. Okay, bye. Wait. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr... Oh, oh no, I almost got it. Urdu, Urdu, Aldu, Moodu, there we go. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Moodu. It was a pleasure meeting you, uh... Please take my uh, one-time fling and get her out of here before I end up putting another child into her. Oh, is that a threat? It should just say, is that is that what we use for threats here? That doesn't sound like a threat. It sounds like. Oh no! Yeah, I think that's Sa like... Sasha. So you, you Sasha seems like she wants Re that. Remy, Remy, you know this because of your sister's mom. She's enjoying that. She finds that as yeah, the most yeah, fun yeah, yeah. thrill ever. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems our friend here would be more than happy to have that happen. Oh, do you not want that happen? I don't want my wife putting a saber at my back. Understood. Sasha, oh, and... get! Miss, I'm sorry, I, I, did we ever get your last name? Her last name was Vizsla. Yes, that's right. Uh, Miss Vizsla, please. Mm. Oh, I'll, I'll stay. Uh, we tried, M Mr. We tried, Mr. Mo I'll get it one day. Mulu. Mudu. Mudu. No one can get my name right, don't worry. I I'm in the same boat as you. It's like, it's voodoo, both in him. Yeah. Alright, well, Mudu. What, what, what might your name be? My name is Nausha Valatha. Nausha Valatha, that's not so hard. Uh, you, you would think. Oh, sure. Oh, great name. Hmm. Maybe my next kid will get it. That or that's Vader I heard from Thrawn. Damn, you got a lot of dead people here. <laughs> I have been meaning oh. to ask you. Oh, this is just the new sigil to add to my walls here for my fleets that are under my command. It is a very nice sigil. But, uh, no, I, those, those of you who would like to know this Thrawn in and, and what time period they come from, apparently this is a clone of himself. Mm. A clone? Okay. Thrawn clone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, the last thing that he said, he had something called flash printing on his memory. He remembers being assassinated over a planet that he was above. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So the clone is understand. new Thrawn after old Thrawn got killed. Sorry, cloning technology is something that is even possible? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I, mean, I, I have trust spies. You. I have spies on this place called Camino right now. Just oh, their time getting information. Um, probably on my time. Probably on my time. Uh, my beyond my time as well. That place blew up. Is the place what now? Did it blow up? How did it blow you up? She'll just say you might again? want to get your spies out of there. My friend here says it blows up. Does it blow what up? place was it again? Out of character. Is it um, Camino? Uh, Camino. Camino. Uh, no. Right now, no, his Camino spies are Camino. Up. Camino, fine. Though oh. you might want to blow Camino up if you want to kick Republic in Bullsack. No, no. Yeah, I'm going to let the Republic and this Federation do what already set in motion. Wait, what is this? What? Valatha Val is just like, like, what is this about Camino clones in the Republic? The Republic is using Camino facilities to make clone troopers. Yeah. What's so special so about they, this Camino? You know what? Oh. Here's yeah, a here's a job, there. and I can sign on Katex for a shipyard if he has any weird inventions that involve space. Oh, so many. Well, you can get your wish if you can convince that mercenary Django Fett to come join my side. <laughs> Alright, I do! Oh, I guess we're doing this. You yeah, know, if I, I only have to admit, oh. if, he's, if he's a mercenary, can't you just pay him and then he just join your side? He is currently under somebody named Darth Ty Tyrannus at the moment. Oh, he's wearing He's oh, the wait. other Sith Lord then. Wait, wait, mercenary, mercenary. Uh, Django Fett Mandy, right? Yep. I, I presume gotta... issue here is honor code, right? Because he hired yes. already? Yeah, yes. Thinking. Okay, I have plan. <laughs> here, here is what I'm willing to pay him if you can convince him to join my side. As of right now, I know he's wanting unaltered clones for himself. Here is what I'm willing to pay as well. 6.2 billion credits for him to leave that faction. Okay. Mm. And how will we present this to him? We just tell him. He comes to get to. We him. tell him, of course. But will he believe us? Uh, that'd be a weird thing to tell someone if they, if we just walk up and tell him that. I'm pretty sure you've already approached him with an offer, right? No, I have not. My spies won't get too close to him like that because oh, does he know who you are? No, but spies are acolytes in training. Okay, so I guess we should have some kind of proof. That you exist, and that this is really crazy people walking up and talking. I agree. Him. Yeah. Perhaps we need you to give us something to show your power to him. Something to show that you mean business. Maybe the other Mandy's can be helped. Can be. Well, we can. That's what I was going to give you, actually. It's a Beskar emblem of Clan Ordo. Mm -hmm. The best guy no, that he follows the code of Mandalore and respects the true Mandalorians, such as Clan Ordo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's rare, apparently, in this time that there's any remnants or discussion about this clan. Okay, so this might I... be a great deal if you can win him over. So we need to tell him you exist, that you want him to be on your side, and then we have to convince him to join you. And we also must show him this sigil. Yeah, that's gonna help us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you will do what we'll do what we can. And afterwards, if you guys can sabotage the Camino facilities to Poka mm -hmm. City. In what way? Yeah, how does that like I've we've already got the schematics in the process of creating what they're already doing. What are we sabotaging? I imagine right. you just want us to get rid of it and blow it up entirely if you already have the schematics. Oh no, actually I, hey, but let what? me tell you about something. You got Spartai? Hmm? I give you this I give you this one free. There are these things called Spartai Clone Cylinder. They don't make clone as good as Kami no one, but they make pretty good clone in about a year. 
Oh yeah, they're much better I, than Arcanian. That's where I got. Thrones already given me that. All right, all right, good man. Nothing you were saying. We we're right, right now in ex- the cloning facility itself, the DNA chambers, the so assess the hat. up their clones. Yes. All right, we mess up their clone. And how are we to do this? Infected? Think of I a have way. Great ideas. We find many, some, many ideas. We find some if you really want, stupid if you want, and we put their DNA in there. Hmm. They call a bunch of stupid people. Yeah, you guys can just see like the fire in Katex's eyes right now. <laughs> have this vial. Don't ingest it. Don't let it touch you. As the glass. If you can contaminate anything evolving around, evolving the clones with this vial, it'd be a great help. I understand. And uh, she'll... How should I even grab this? You were told Not... only touch the glass. <laughs> I mean, I mean, more yeah, like, yeah. how are we going to transport it? I keep safe. All right. I'll keep the I'll keep the sigil safe. Yeah, yeah. Katex will walk up, grab it with his like mechanical arm thing, and then it like, uh, he, you know, he's got a little specialized pod for carrying hazardous materials. What is in the vial? If you do not mind me asking. Mm. Deadly neurotoxin. Please say deadly. Or like a mutagen. Ah, uh, mutagen. Hmm. That's close to what I'm saying. I understand. And uh, she'll reach out to take the sigil and keep it safe until we meet Mr. Fett. Okay. I believe we have our job. Where, uh, we where appreciate it. Where is he? Where is Django Fett? Yeah, how are we going to talk to him? though, right? He's on Camino. Yeah, yeah, can you give us like a direction? Is that the place is all water? Yeah. Okay, so I guess he shouldn't yeah, be Z, Z told me a story about how, how she and Lily went in there. Yeah, a restaurant or something, right? I don't know. Oh shark, no, man. they... I remember that. Yeah, that was a story where people wouldn't give the codes or something. I don't remember. Mm. I, well, I'm not there. I think there was a big... I heard uh, nothing of this. Who, who is... Who is your pilot? Our pilot. Oh. A pilot. Um, who's our pilot? That's me, and no. B. A lot of us. We just fly the ship. I don't think we have a pilot. Like no one, we don't pay anyone to be the pilot. The play. last person to pilot us was um your friend. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we can oh, do it. That is her decision if no, she no, wants to pilot you. No, we don't need her. You can stay here with you. We don't need. Alrighty. Well, Adrian will go ahead and uh, speak up. Mildly, just like uncomfortable as he says it, but Emperor Mudu, mm. if I were to help them with this mission that you've given them, would you be able to provide information on what I'd asked you about earlier? Yes, I can. I'd like to look to the group. Would that be all right with all of you? Of course, the more the merrier. I feel like with whatever you might be doing, you might be a little bit better off with the Jedi. I know that's what I was thinking, but I have mixed feelings from when my mom told me stories about Jedi. She says they're usually dicks. Your mother, of course, was very biased in her belief. I'm afraid to tell you this. (laughs) It's... We, like all human beings, are a bit of a mixed bag. Back on Dantooine, there was, um... Fuck, what the... what was his name? Ah, uh, that one that one dickhead. I know the one you're talking Yadi about. Yadi Mundi? No, I don't remember his name. I remember Master Vandar, but Vandar was the, <laughs> I was felt, the Yoda I mean, one. I mean, the one who you bla- did... Are you talking about the guy who literally blamed everything else except himself for the fall yes. of the Jedi Order? Yes, yeah, yes, Yeah, 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 that guy. Uh, I don't um, remember his name either. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Rook! Ma- Master yeah. Rook on Dantooine was, was a bit of a... Uh, yeah. 
I suppose the best way to put it would be a hard ass in regards to a lot of things. So it's understandable, but yeah, I well, promise you, usually... I can be very much more of a negotiator than he is. Okay, so usually what happens is my mom meets a Jedi, she tells the Jedi that she's a Sith, and then they immediately hate her and want to kill her, probably. Or they just don't like her, and they want to, like, be a dick to her. Even though she the doesn't Sith... do anything to them. The Sith and the Jedi have historically been at each other's throats for yeah, I know. I know. a while. I know, but they don't, even, they don't even give her, like, a chance to be a good person or not. They just go, like, oh, you're a Sith, you're bad. Miss Yami, she will, uh, now she will say coldly, Miss Yami, I implore you, simply lay off of him. He will be fine. Who? No, I, I understand the apprehension. And... Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not anything wrong with him. I mean, I was wanting to make sure, like, if he's going to stab somebody, just make sure he's going to do it. He seems like he's okay. I don't plan on stabbing people, and yeah. period, really. He seems okay. Defending myself if necessary. Yeah. Like, I'm the opposite, right? I give people chances. So it's like my mom. So I just want to let him know. For like... Remy, in case you forgot, I'm a Jedi, or was a Jedi. Yeah, I know. You seem nice. But I was asking from what time he was from. I don't know what happens in his time. You know, that is very fair. That's why I act like the Mandalorian. Like, were they going to kill me if I had Beskar or not? I still don't even know what's that in that medal. You do, uh... Time's up. There's really no point to kill any of you. If you touch Beskar, have a full planet that isn't destroyed by... Looks not a Sasha. A group of Mandalorians fighting over it. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. I gotta make sure. Because if a Mandalorian from a different time came, and, like, I have a piece of it, they might try to kill me for it. So I gotta make sure, right? Speaking of, we should get to the ship. Mm-hmm. All right. From now, let's not let's not leave our emperor waiting. Oh, okay, bye. We're gonna go do the job. All right. Peace. I wire and... you contract soon, emperor. See you later. See you. And as soon uh, as you I... walk away, you just hear Sasha in the back. <laughs> oh no! I was Sasha. vulnerable, but fuck it. I'm gonna change back to. Why I'm gonna change to cool? issue. Oh, your issue. <laughs> I was vulnerable, but it makes more sense for a Jedi to be issue. I'm gonna it's go with fine. It. We all have issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Plus twenty one. Oh no! Man, it's a <laughs> Horrible. The horror. I can't believe it. The abyss looked back at me. Okay. So I guess we head to the ship. Um, and we, we chart a course to a planet. Should we should we stop or should we keep going? Up to you guys. I was, I was hoping we could stop because I'm very hungry. Yeah. I didn't eat yeah. all day today. I don't, I don't know I've been waiting can... to let my dog out for a little bit, so yeah. I don't mind this stopping. Feels, this this yeah. feels like a good stopping yeah, point. Yeah, this was actually a good stopping point. Yeah. I mentioned it. I didn't want to start something else. And I else. definitely don't want to play Deep Rock Collector. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably head to bed pretty soon anyways, because i got to <laughs> I got to be in bed by like an hour. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to eat and play some vampires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. It was lovely, all of you. I'll see you all.